Milan. That's not the kind of wine. <laughs> the wine that, that you drink. That's not what you were demonstrating mm-hmm. a while ago. Wine. Red People label. Like this, this, this. Yes. No, wine. no, not like that. <laughs> Um, it's hot in here, and I can't take off my clothes. I turned down the AC. Down? That's like off. Yeah. It's how y'all minute. doing? I'm hanging in there. I'm. I'm and how are peeps doing? Oh, I'm, Cassidy, I'm, our engineer tonight, guys. Um, we're gonna have a good show, right? Yes. Based on what we're gonna do. One this. world, one styles. Every time, simple. Simple. Real talk. Good to see you on the Voy. Yes. And of course, let me say to That's our... That's what I was going to say next until I was rudely interrupted, Javin. Uh, I'm coming to that part. Let's do it together. One, two, three. Happy... Together, I said. Happy birthday, Shelly! That was solo. I wanted to do it solo. Go, go ahead, sir. Jesus. Yeah, big up yourself on Friday the 13th. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Shelly. We don't know, so you're not salt. Oh, my goodness. You have fault, but you're not salt. Shelly is right? celebrating. You know, it's miserable and a man named Freda. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. It's her, remember, it's her birthday? Yes. You say all the good things? No, but suppose someone, someone will regret this day. <laughs> no, ah. no, 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 oh, no. Oh my goodness. No. You're an awful man. <laughs> what if what Shelly have of a us blessed earth strong girl? Regret this day. Oh Jesus. I never said that. We do what it. Am I said, gonna what do if do with you or without you? Which one? With you. I will go with the with you. <laughs> what am I gonna do with you? <laughs> um I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just, uh, Shelly! Give me a blinds right here so I don't have to oh, look at that head. Jesus. Shelly's celebrating her birthday, our Earth Strong today. And of course, she'll be at La Bess Sports Bar in yep. Port Antonio. For retrograde. Yeah, I passed there and I saw the setup. I didn't get to see it inside, but I was on the road and I was like, okay. And statement was, was clearly there. Yes. Yeah, the entrance and all. So, wherever you are, if you can make it on over to Port Antonio you know, to so Shelly's retrograde. Then was, make it a date. I was planning on going to that party. I'm gonna at, stop by after show at ten o'clock and, and at when? At ten. As in and ten. Yes. Okay. I was planning planning on go to Shelley's party. And leaving party. me solo? Well, um, no, that was the, that was not the intention. <laughs> I was planning on going on ten till twelve. I said maybe one o'clock the latest. And somebody reminded me. Well, on in a real talk. Oh tonight. Jesus. Okay. I didn't. Re- I I remember. Remember, but, you didn't but I didn't remember. Right. I, I plan to go after the show. I don't think after the show I'll be too late. No. So make sure you leave a piece of the cake, Shelley, and some other wine for me. Yes. And remember, um, because of the noise abatement acting, that party can go till four. Okay. Extension. Well, Extension. Temporary. Yes, Someone temporary. making thing. Psh. I, hmm. I think it's beyond that as well. Oh, yeah. That's your next story. We'll come next year. Yeah. Yes. Anyways. <laughs> the Void. Thank you, Shelly. The Javine says, happy birthday to you. And, of course, all our listeners are, I'm sure, are extending the same. Let me just give you those numbers to hook us up, though, later on as we go throughout the show, in case you don't know. You and in case it. you're just joining us, welcome, welcome, welcome. And the local number is 876-453-1444. If you're overseas, that number is 954-338-7973. We can still drop in our on-the-go numbers before the break. The USA on-the-go number is 712 Two two seven seven two and the UK on the go zero three three zero six zero six zero nine four four and in Canada that number is six four seven nine five seven nine six three seven so make sure well those are the on the go numbers when we get back from the first break we will share those social media sites with you so you gotta stick around for more real talk after the break it's now 9 30 the time is brought to us by vj printing services and real talk is sponsored by nasal native audio stage and lighting we soon come
Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 893-2266 Planning a party? Club night out? Stage show? A gospel concert? Or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Are you sick of living an average life and tired of just getting by? Do you want to take your life to the next level? Learn the secrets of the super successful. Listen to Power in a Half Hour with Coach Mark this and every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Learn the habits of the super successful and how to make these habits work for you. Learn to turn your dreams and desires into reality. You can win in the game of life. Let Coach Mark show you how every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook. Styles FM 96.1. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Welcome back. Indeed, Real Talk it is, and you're tuned to Styles FM. So, we are. I'm here with my co-host, Daddy Rude, and my mic is not behaving himself. Yes, here with Daddy Rude tonight. And in case you're just joining us, we welcome you to the show. Let me hail up, hail up, hail up. All are very, very important social media peeps. Those who do social media, yeah, that's your thing. So we want to load you up tonight. Let's go with our friends who will watch the show post on YouTube. All the shows are posted on YouTube. So you can go back and get some time and check out every show that we've had here on Real Talk. All right? Pretty much all the shows, yeah? So you go to YouTube and check out Stars FM Radio. All our friends who are Instagrammers, you can follow us at Styles FM on Twitter at Styles FM 961. And the good old Facebook. Tonight we are on Facebook Live. The Facebook Live peeps, pick up yourselves tonight. Yeah, Facebook Live is Styles FM 96.1. And go to the fan page. And feel free to leave a comment or two right there. We will be sure to hail you up as we go through. All right. So tonight, oh boy, tonight I have some very, very, very important. All our listeners are very, very important. Don't get me wrong now. But I have some persons who I know they are like seriously avid listeners. And they are like locked in to Styles FM ever so often, even at work. I know a particular supermarket in Port Antonio, um, Ram Tullus to be exact. Seriously, their radio is stuck on Styles FM. Whenever I walk in that supermarket, I hear Styles FM playing. So I don't know what's happening, but it's happening. So all the people at Ram Tullus right now, all the cashiers, all the supervisors um, that work at Ram Tullus, there's a... Two, there are two gentlemen that, um, Mr. I call one Mr. B. I really don't know the gentleman's name for sure, but I call him Mr. B. Oh, you know, to them gentle. <laughs> or the men. 
I, 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 want, I want to call men gentlemen, except for you. I want to call them gentlemen <laughs> because I expect them to be gentle. All right? So the, the big men who normally supervise, you know, and you hear them calling, Mr. Stanley, yes. Mr. Stanley, nice, nice gentleman. I'm so gentle to him all the gentle. That's how nice he is. So, Mr. Stanley, big up yourself. And there's another gentleman who is kind of stout. I don't know his name, but he's very nice too. Very helpful. And no matter what, you call on him or you call on them, they're there to really, really offer some good service to the customers. So, pick up yourselves, gentlemen who supervise the cashiers. And Cooley, Cooley said, I think I told you already, but she's always saying, when are the next party? And if you have another party before the next time for the next party, <laughs> that's how much <laughs> Cooley wants to come and have fun and dance and you know enjoy herself. She really, really enjoyed Fan Fusion. Right. So Cooley in the corner there, yeah, big up yourself. I don't know if she's on now, but I know she she has her different ships. So big up yourself, Cooley from Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude right here on Styles F. Um, and all the people shopping right now in Ramtillas, just buy something nice and bring down down to style. So me and Daddy Rudy here. <laughs> 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 or when you see me again, just say, hey, I was in the supermarket that night when you ailed me up. So this is for you. Happy Christmas. Yes. All right. So big up to the Ramtula peeps. And another set of people now in Port Antonio who listen to styles. The Photobank crew. Yes. Big and serious. Photo bank people, nice, nice ladies who work in photo bank right there in City Centre Plaza. They saw, yes, man, very, very helpful and kind and pleasant people right there, ladies and a gentleman. I know about three gentlemen working there, Kevin and the crew. Pick up on yourself and happy, happy, happy holidays. And to my friend Asana Reed from NCB, I was there a couple of days ago, you know, with their gratitude day event and just really really bubbly and as you, you might know her well enough to know that she's a very vivacious kind of bubbly lady right so if you haven't yet met her you have to meet her before the holidays is through okay just go go there and ask asana reed i think you're supposed to you don't know asana no but i like the name you like the name yes and she's a very very nice lady very very nice lady yeah, so big ups to Diane Valentine too and our peeps on the WhatsApp connection. Lord of his mercy. Kevin, my big friend, mad friend in Tampa, Florida. <laughs> big ups to you and he's sending out birthday greetings to Shelly. Yeah, you think turn up, he says. Sadie, good night. I mean, no, I maybe, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Sadie, good night to you too, my darling. Wow. Greetings to Shelly as well from Sister Sadie. And she wishes that you live over 100. Yeah, man, real talk. So Kimoy in Sunny hold Hill. On, hold on, hold on. Hold, Locked when in. Am I birthday, I'm gonna Hi, Kimoy, how you doing? Hope, hope, hope me live over 100 and them something. <laughs> hold on, I pray. <laughs> nobody, uh, nobody good night, that. Rambo. How you That's doing? Not, nobody never said hope you live this next year. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's in their hearts. It's in their hearts. I guess so. Um I also just wanna say um big ups to some persons out there who are under the under the well, behind the scenes going far and wide and above and beyond to help persons the who are fierce? No. Haha, ha, fooled you now, didn't I? All those people who are going above and beyond to help somebody so out there. Person. Shut up. <laughs> who are <laughs> out there helping people, you know, in whatever way you can, whether it's to offer some food, whether it's to offer some clothing, whether it's just to be there to see if they're okay, especially the elderly and the indigent persons, the persons who are on the streets, those who are homeless those who don't have much of a family structure um, and you can give and help them pick up i'm picking you up right now taking yep. the time out to say load up you are large and in charge and your blessing is for sure all right so the people out there too who are in the hospitals you're listening in in the hospitals um, big ups um, to you and of course be strong you know I know you know it's not the place you might want to be in the holiday season you want to be out with family and friends or home relaxing and chillaxing but you know I what I don't feel the season you're dead I guess so you're a living dead I guess I, I, I don't feel <laughs> or you're it. just boring I'm a Grinch yeah 
Mm -hmm. Stealing Christmas. So you're in the hospital, but guess what? Make the best of whatever situation you're in. Family and friends need to go on over and ensure that you make your family and friends in the hospital feel really, really good. Go do some caroling or something, man, and make them feel nice and bring them, bring them some gifts do too. Some what? Caroling. What does that mean? Go and sing the carols so they can feel that flavor and the aura of Christmas. Sing a Because it's a feeling. Sing a carol. Santa itch up in a mango tree, mango tree, mango tree. Hey. Santa itch up in a mango tree, hey. and in ballot, what a Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> what was he? What were you doing in there? Looking for you. Me. Brr. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard that in a very long, long time. But of course, um, you know, as I said, guys, do what you can to help somebody else. Let the, let the Christmas feel a little bit, you know, more alive than what it might be. And if you know of people who are really, really down, do something to help to cheer them up. And I'm going to encourage also the parents out there. Do me a big one. Do not leave your children. And this is not just for Christmas alone, all the time. Do not leave your children, your young children, your teenage, your preteens, because you think, oh, them big, and him act so big, so he can't take care of himself. She can't take care of herself. No. Do not leave your kids and go out or leave them with any and anybody to watch them at a session some time ago and I learned a seminar and I learned sometimes the things were refreshing my mind and it, it brought home the fact that sometimes we leave children with some with persons we think are caregivers, yes, or responsible persons, and that's when the opportunity creeps in for them to sometimes abuse your children. Oh, so Lord. if it is that you're going somewhere and you really have no one to leave your child with, nobody you know to your Tell heart. Carry them if you can't carry them, don't bother go. <laughs> That's one of the statements the presenter said. If you can't carry your child on a certain occasion where to, to ensure that they're safe, don't bother go. Don't bother Real go. talk. Yeah? So I wish for everybody a very, very holy, peaceful, safe holiday season as we kick into tonight's real talk. Yeah, but yeah, make it look like say uh, um a uh, next week at Christmas. Is next week is Christmas for me? Uh -uh. Because the, the other week is not my Christmas. I'm going to be resting and staying off the road. Because I can't manage the crowd and the this and no, the that. No, you sound like a Grinch. You sound, you sound... No, man. We can't manage the, the... You can't find space to walk. My girl. You, All the kids are out and you're just... Then the year thing that... Man, no, 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 this week are my Christmas. Are, are you have 48 people in a class in, and all that? Are getting so? paid? Um, <laughs> government pay? Celia, when is paid? Eh? Tashana, yes. Government pay? Yes. I have no idea. Next week is my Christmas. Early. Uh, uh, early Christmas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the roads will be so congested. You'll have nowhere to walk, nowhere to drive. Bumper to... I hate bumper to bumper. I, I just can't, but I don't have that patience. Seriously. So, forgive me if I sound like I'm pr premature with Christmas, but yeah, I am. But it's the season, so start from now. And we go right into the new year. Well, just here. celebrating and having fun and living good life. Yes. But if you drive in between on Harbour Street on any given day, you don't have to, have to be Christmas. True. It's but it's, it's going to be worse. That's my point. It's going to be worse. What's a rah? Oh, you look so. Park and walk. Oh, you look so. How me look? Like a decent, bright, university kind of student Someone like said, harvard I, I look like a harvard. nerd that too <laughs> <laughs> no, remember, well, you look decent yeah, but remember many times i tell you i can't see the screen oh so if we have shades the the glasses see, yes yeah, so oh, no no four eyes. no it has become a point where i think i have to be wearing it more i only get old of course yes i only get old I'm but you know really look so cold still but me, 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 <laughs> I, I'm I, I'm here <laughs> to tell you how it will be for you next year. Oh Jesus! Oh boy! <laughs> oh boy! All right, well, guys, we have our real talk, and we're gonna dive right no, in. No, 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 no. What you want to question me about? No. What you want to ask me? No, 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 no. We've exhausted ch chatting about 
Nothing. Other things. <laughs> nothing. We, we spoke about nothing. Okay. What do you want us to talk about before we go into our topic tonight, sir? Since it's a long time you don't see me. Mm-hmm. And you want to stress me out before the show finish. I know you very, very well. More than even Karen. No, let me take that back. A little bit less than how Karen knows you. <laughs> good night, Karen, first lady. How you doing? I trust you're good. <laughs> how was your two last two weeks? My last two weeks was not so bad. I... Oh, except for one little part, but, uh, which I told you about today or yesterday. <laughs> I told you about that, that horrible part. But it was good. Yeah. Prestige was with me one of the week. Yeah, I said, go. Mm-hmm. No, you no. Sure? Yes. Yeah, man. Prestige was, was with me. Prestige kept me good. You sure? For... You sure not me? Me I did it week before last week, did you show? Sure? Which can you get so much trouble to remember for yeah, you? Yeah, man. I made it the show week before last week. And I mean, Prestige. No. Hi, Prestige. How you doing? No, no. <laughs> well, for I the guess, past two I, weeks, I, I, I guess the moment wasn't memorable. Oh Jesus! I guess it wasn't. work has been a ball, getting bigger okay. and bigger. Yeah, <laughs> a big ball rolling. Um, and the kids are fine. They are fantastic. They are fabulous. They're just loving and caring and just sweet. I don't want to get trouble. Just sweet. You know, very warm to the kids I have to deal with. You, look so like, you, you know, you look like you're ready for your next youth, though. Can I go to, go to the show now, please? Can no, we like go man. into the show now? Yeah, no, man. Look, I'm sure right now, you know. You're speaking, you, you, you're speaking you a foreign like... language to me now. <laughs> <laughs> you, you look, you, you look like you know. You have the, you have the mother. I have yeah. the mother something for. Yeah, you have the beer in Hold on, you know. I have and the mother something for the I'm kids the time at now school. We are, you know. I have the mother thing I'm for my enrollment at school enough. and for Jody. But no, uh -uh, no young one. No Cody. No Cody. No. <laughs> no. I already have a, 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 well, I have a Cody. <laughs> but no. 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 Baby. You know, so no. you know, so enter your liar you blink. Yes, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wink like. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know? You, 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 you look. Uh, what am I doing? DG. You look bearing. This is DG's faces. Look at the faces. Like she's saying, huh? What is he talking about, right, DG? Yeah. yeah be, yeah, be, yeah, who? Yeah, you have that glow. Yeah, yeah, sir. I'm glowing. Yeah. It's the makeup. Well, it doesn't matter. And the lighting. Well, at least native at least. audio stage and lighting does that to you. Make you glow. Anyway, you gotta give me. You gotta pay me for that. So I'm, seriously, I'm sending. That's advertisement right there. I'm sending. <laughs> I'm sending hidden messages. And um, they're right? well hidden coming out. I see them for you. Right? Yes. I'm send, sending <laughs> hidden messages. So oh, I'll, I'll, I'll give you until March. To March, to March away from <laughs> that scene, yes. <laughs> <laughs> to March oh, along. boy. Right? What, um, for oh, me, you hmm? know about this issue, right? With right. Um, that the boy mentioned to you, did he call you on the issue? Um, oh. yeah, man, he said he was gonna call you, you know, very, very serious know. issue. So, this there's this lady whose daughter got ill. Um, I don't remember the details just now. She was she was giving me some you know information via voice notes on the issue. She got injured, a young lady, what? um, Monica from Hartford, Portland. I didn't think there's a Hartford in Portland. I thought it was a Hartford in Connecticut. Yeah, no, Hartford. <laughs> so Hartford, Portland. Mm -hmm. um, her daughter's survival depends on the assistance. Yes. So she's having a cookout and a birthday celebration on December 28. Okay. And we're inviting you all to come where? out to support it. Um, where is it going to be? I guess in Hartford, Portland. Um, up. I think it's up. Uh, where you go? Fair Prospect side. Okay. The boy tell us exactly where it is. Um, she wants you to come out and support it because she needs um, a lot more, more of the doctors. Let me get back that message in a minute, Cassidy. Um, wow, what a sweet little girl. Sweet young girl. Um, it's a fundraising. Monica, a.k.a. Blank number seven presents fundraising cookout and birthday celebration. It's a survival story. 
December 28, 2019, day and night event. And of course, they're going to have food there. So fried chicken, jerk chicken, stew, pork, rice and peas, curry goat, goat soup, um, vegetable pasta and so on. Um, good vibration sound will be playing the music. And it's hard. Is it Hardford Square or Hart? Which one? Hard, Hardford Square, Portland. Refreshment will be on sale. This young lady, from what I remember of the story, fell and probably didn't know the seriousness of her injuries. Wow. Yes, yeah, some pinch, pinch, pinch nerve. nerve. Yes. So she um, has had to be walking with the crutches. Just yeah. outside the Fear Prospect High School. Okay. She's a footballer at the school. Okay. Um, go back to the top message for me, please. And she eventually went to the doctor and he's a whole bag of something. The little girl couldn't walk at one point. Mm -mm. So the tests, the, the umpteen tests and the expensive tests that this young lady has to do. I think she's a teenager. I think she said she was about 18 or so. What? So, yes, yeah, a young, young lady. And for her to, the fact that she plays football, she's very, I guess, athletic, you know, and um, she... Spinal <coughs> injury. Yes, spinal injury, as he says there. She injured her spine, and she has a lot more doctor's visits to do. Uh, yep. And they're begging, begging, begging for you to come on out and to support this. Yeah, they're not man. walking and just put begging out, the money. Put they, out. They're asking you to come and support the put event. Put the date on your calendar. Yeah. Mark it the 28th of this month. And if you're not able to make it and you wish to give that donation, donation. Yeah, man. then I do believe that you could we'll do so. Yeah, do so. Right through Stars FM. And we're sure to get that assistance to her because we know these tests cost a lot of money. Of and course. the ordinary poor family does not have it. All right, guys, there we have for young, young Monica. Monica. Yep. All right, Donald is up. Mansa Musa. Long time to see you. Yeah? Um, stop talking about food. Donald, you're hungry. <laughs> you're making me hungry. <laughs> oh, boy. Big up, big up, Donald. Big up yourself. They didn't know you and my son were such good friends. Ah, big up to the Real Talk crew every time, and big up to our listeners like Donald out there in Prospect, Portland, and all the which, Prospect crew. Big up on yourself. Which, 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 which bridge? In, which son that? I'm not sure. Hmm. Hmm. Well, you're going to find out. Yep. And I will soon tell you. What else we have on the text line there, Cassidy? Thane. Is it Thane? You know Thane. Let's see what Mansa Musa says. Uh, Daddy Road, what you say? She fit for the surrogate candidate. She fluffy bad. <laughs> Look here, Mansa. Man, man, <laughs> Mansa, do not strengthen Daddy Road's fruitful <laughs> argument. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. If I didn't know, you see, Mansa, I wouldn't even read your message, you know. Oh, boy. <laughs> All but, right. You know, over the past couple of weeks. What's been happening with you? Um, been taking taking things easy. You have been? Right. You know how to do that? <laughs> a lot Just check in. A lot of persons been actually saying that. Okay. I don't think you know how to do that. Be, been saying that. But right. good luck. Uh, trying to take it things easy. I, I, I've been doctor's orders. Oh. Right. It has to reach that point because so. people like you and I do not know how to yeah. take it easy. Just to take it easy and looking into things and looking into you know, general looking into life, what? Looking into life itself. Oh. Right? You know, That's try. exciting. Looking well, into life. At least you're looking nice. into it and not looking through it. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It's a better but, place um, to be. It's a, it's a new feeling, you know. Okay. I've actually been in Portland for the past almost week. Yeah, because mommy told me you were here and I was yes. like, huh? That's strange. Mm. But you see, because I, I know that me kind of in sync, and I say, it's something why I'm there, you know, I'm probably resting. He needs to rest, so he's probably been resting. Yeah. Yeah, and he said me right. Yes, that's a yeah. take it easy, you know, well easy. Real talk. And guess what I'm to me now? Oh, Lord. <sighs> ah, the moms all killed me for that one. What did moms do? I don't see you, man. Uh, you know what I say? Um, you ever use 
cologne or roll on an altar because it burn you? Yeah. Literally burn? Yeah, well, it, it worse if your, your arm got irritated. Well, it mine burnt right now. I, mean, I, I was using, um, what's your name? Gil- um, I soon tell you. Gillette? No, not Gillette. Um, Old Spice. Okay. For like, maybe like two years. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, I just feel... It burning? I, I never r- really know what it was. I just see, one day I see one mark here. So I, I said to myself, oh, this looks like icky, so. Oh. I wonder which. Yeah, so yeah. Like, oh, oh, icky icky can't your army? Two man are all shatter. <laughs> see me? I don't know which girl decides to go up the thing, you know? Oh, you know, Jesus. Boy, the, the combo come in many oh, farmers. Jesus, here we go. <laughs> I haven't heard that word in a long time, too. The combo come in many farmers. So I said, yo, I was so like, oh, icky reach out of my arm. So I got chosen and everything all right. And then I just find some boy when I use it, it actually burn me. Oh. Yep. So it's causing you to rash or something? Bruising you? Yeah, man. I'll show you. Oh, my I'm, goodness. I'm going to Facebook people. I'm going to show you. So, so yeah. you, you actually... Oh, my goodness. It burn you. As in burn you? As in burn. I thought you meant yeah. just burning you, like burning for a moment. No. Burn. Oh. And um, I actually spoke to my pharmacist, White Caves Pharmacy, mm-hmm. and they sent me an article about that said brand. Oh, my God. Of persons, um, I read it, persons reporting that um, similar experience they've been using for like a year, two years, and then suddenly it burned them. Wow. And there are persons who like a day, two days, or some of them just as them start using it, it burn them. Wow. You know, um, Do you got to check the, the, the product, the, the items that are in it, the chemicals that are in it? I and, guess so. And research those yeah, side so. effects. Right now, I have to use baking soda, people. Baking soda. Can't use those, Back but, to the good old days, days my brother. Days, baking soda, uh, I have to use. Back to the, the good old days. The kill the green arm, you see me? And that road. <laughs> old spice is harsh. You have to change it ever so often. Well, I mm. never know. I really never know. I'm going to say two years. And I was never fond of that one, to be honest, though. I, 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 I love like the Gillette. You have the um, the clear gel. The, the, the that's a white nice. one, right? It has a white. No. It's clear. I don't know. I don't remember. I, if it's not clear, I don't want it to use. I can't bother with the white the, the, residue the white and residue, stuff. Yeah. Uh-huh. No, no, this not giving a residue. Okay. But you know, that's how the thing set. Hmm. But apart from that, everything's smooth. See, I'm burn up my yacht. Burn up. Burn. Burn. Yeah. <laughs> burn. <laughs> we cannot be on this show together, I swear. <laughs> you know, so, oh, boy. But, you know, um, doing, some, doing some stage for the holidays as well. Cool. Um, you know, big up to all of the clients them that I have. Oh, yeah. Some of them kind of push it to the limit, but at least... When you can complete a project and make the party come to life. Yep. You know, you know it's a job well done. Oh, yes, so it is. Myself, I have up, a few up, events too, Lord. All of, all of them, you know, clients of mine. Yep. And, and my clients too, big up on yourself. Um, <laughs> successful and prosperous new year. Yep. And you know, more business for the new year. And more business for the new year. All right, all the prosperity you know. indeed. Yep. And tonight, a Shelly party. So, all who want to see Shelly. On her birthday, the thirteenth of a Friday. Could you just stop saying that? <laughs> I stop was, scaring me. I was trying to avoid saying it, but isn't today Friday the thirteenth Shelly's birthday? Today's just Friday night. That's all it is. Friday so night. So you have Chucky and you have Shelly. <laughs> Shelly going to do the kids. <laughs> and, Princess and, and, in Saint and, Thomas. And, Hi. And today we had um, a new show. Um, with Aisha Prendy from St. Thomas. Hmm. Yeah, it's, an, um, it's called The Highlights. Highlights. Yes, cool. um, entertainment, um, 411 and what's happening you know, within the entertainment scene. Cool. Really good show. She and Chung held it down today. Mm. Chung is starting to Thumbs proceed. up. Yep, it was a nice show. Cool. You know. So expecting more of that next week and on 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 and on
but doctors orders rest. So if I'm resting, which means that I would have been working much harder. Okay. Well, I guess. Right. So I'm mm -hmm. resting. So for for the past thirteen days. Mm -hmm. Convince yourself. Okay, go ahead. I've been resting. Okay. And In quotation. I've been resting. The time is now ten o'clock. In the PM, and it's brought to us by VJ Printing Services and Real Talk. It's sponsored by Native, Native Audio, Audio Stage, Stage and, and Lighting. lighting. Stick around. Kayla from Roland's Field. Mm -hmm. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Miss the adrenaline rush with the musical ingenious digital team. Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artists and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8. Come, Styles FM. <laughs> digital team. Our brain. Uh -huh. Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent? Seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car or having a garage sale? Then come see us. Let Styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Advertising Style. Advertise with Styles. Get your Saturday morning start to the right way. It's all about the jump start with Chungi, the Chinaman on your radio. From 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. It's all about fights from the start to the finish. We're more in a go that get diminished. So whether you're home, on the road, on a bus, or drive taxi then, come listen to Jump Start on Stars FM. We cover the globe like oxygen. Jump Start Saturdays, 6 to 9 a.m. That's at the time. Anything else me leave out? Cho, never mind. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily Necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Yep. Welcome back to the show. Real talk it is. Mm -hmm. And you're hearing the voices of Daddy Rude and your truly Lady Cleo. And we see our friends on the WhatsApp connection um, locking and clocking in. That's good. Let me just say hello and shout so out. That, that answer the same thing happened to him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. He has to be using secret baby powder. <laughs> You're going baby, Donald. <laughs> yes, um, um, our use, friends. We did use the almonds, the almonds thing. Mm -hmm. Powder? When, when we realized, and then the pharmacy said, us use the raw baking powder. Okay. All right. So our friends over there in St. Thomas who are locked in, pick up yourselves. All the St. Thomas peeps, I don't hear them up a long, long time. Mommy and the crew and everybody up there in Whitehall and all across St. Thomas. All across St. Anne, you're locked into us tonight. We want to load you up and love you up. See and our there. friends in St. Mary. It, it, it match up champy. Oh, Lord. You never know them something there. Lady Nicola in Kensington and all the massive and crew in Portland. And St. Mary locked into Stars FM. Pick up yourself. And if you're on the road traveling home or traveling to work, be safe, be safe, be safe. Drivers. Be Don't careful. Stop at all. Yeah. <laughs> stop when you need to. Don't go too fast either. Loving you too, Lady Nicola. All right. So tonight, Daddy Road. Yeah. What we have up our sleeves for the people? I uh, want icky on my arm. Yeah. <laughs> Two ickies on the Daddy Road's arm, people. I don't know which girl is going to give him no icky under his arm. Uh, let's have to up the thing more time. And I'm going to tell you, my girl. <laughs> you're... you're, 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 you're 
for you. Come with them the normal. Your 1970 something can't work right now in a millennium thing with that pun, you know? Yeah, for those. Oh, I just a safe to walk one. So if I dare say the Ikea God, I say the Ikea for going, you know? Oh, please. We try it, man. Just use two old spice and say what I'm to you. Hmm. So what I've, um, what I've discovered um, over the past week mm -hmm. is that um, HIV is on the rise in, oh my God. in Jamaica. Whew. And um, it's something that we're going to talk about tonight in terms yes, of people. the whole STIs and casual, casual um, sex, mm. you know. But one other thing to Selena, you would have realized say, the, the um, <laughs> parties. Yeah. Right, and promoters no feel no way about I just saw the thing set. Alcohol and sex. Yeah. That's how parties are driving towards nowadays. Yeah. They're related Seeing? so much. So every party has a lot of alcohol being promoted. Mm-hmm. And then when you look on even the videos, our people anticipate the girls and fear get on bad. Bad. Mm -hmm. Right? It's pretty much a, um, a kind of seduction. Yes. yes. Even names of parties. Mm -hmm. Right? What they are suggesting. That you wear. Right? How you act. Um, the parties, how they are being promoted. Mm -hmm. Right? It was just what I was saying to... Um, uh, uh, it was a promoter, but an, like an event coordinator mm -hmm. of about 18 years and older to, to drink. Mm -hmm. So I said to her that, so does that mean a 14-year-old can enter? Mm -hmm. I said, there's a difference. If I said 18 years and older to drink. It's you, suggesting that under 18 can enter, can but they enter, can't drink. But they can't drink. Right. Right. I said, when we're doing fan fusion, we said 18 and older to enter. Yes. Which means that uh, once you're there, you would have already been qualified right. to drink. To drink. Presently. So, um, when the promoter them look on a party, when they when, when put out them event. Real talk. Not just to drink, but to enter. Make the pit in them yeah. see in them yard. Yeah. Seeing? Now, when you look on how some of the events them are being promoted, the, the, the flyers on them something the, the mm -hmm. what the, the females, mm -hmm. you know, the, the graphics on it. Oh, yeah. Is very suggestive. And if I remember, say, the type of exposure these things are being exposed to kids. Mm -hmm. When they put out the thing, them on the, the billboards, them, right, the raunchiness of it. Yeah. You know, but them nowadays much smarter and we are exposing them to something where we don't necessarily need them to need be exposed them to. Need them to exposed to, exactly. Right? So we have to look on the thing, thing on a bigger picture, or we are curb. Yeah. The and whole, the responsibility the that responsibility we all have as the, adults. Right, because it reaches a way now where. You, ne you never know what is too much. Mm -hmm. You know? You have a school here, sir. Oh, yeah. One bar set up. And you have one, you have one go go looking something my skin out. Mm -hmm. Oh, right? yeah. It paint for enough bar wall. Mm -hmm. Why would I do them something there? And we already know that it's a bar. We already Anybody know it's can a bar. know it's simply, it's a bar. Right. And trust me, without any writing on, on a bar wall, you know anybody bar. passing by will know it's a bar. Yeah. I want they can't figure another, another building you for something else. Bar. Trust me. Yeah, yes. so you don't need that kind of graphic for true. You so, do, it doesn't. It's not necessary. So we are promote sex. Yeah. Right? And because In, that's, that's what seems to sell. And that's what seems to sell. Yeah. Now, we have some article for real. Um, I, I think we're going to read probably the Vox Pop first so mm -hmm. you know what we're going to discuss tonight and right. then we'll have some article out of the i think the gleaner and the observer right to read for you and and them some some serious business people I'm real want, talk you want to know on a, on a, I, I, I crave your, your indulgence. indulgence indeed That's what I'm gonna do. and remember the phone lines will be open so you can feel free to text us and to share remember we accept whatsapp messages regular sms and call um sorry not calls whatsapp messages only um, SMS and straight calls on the local line and the international line. and the international line. So the yeah. local line is eight seven six four five three one four four four. That's one triple four, 
right? And the overseas number is 954-338-7973. Feel free to share with us tonight. Very, very, very important topic. Important. And we want you to enlighten others out there who might be listening if it is that you do have something of value to share yeah. to the conversation. All right? So here goes with the Vox Pop for tonight. What sweet you will sour you? Of mm -mm. course you know. What sweet you will sour you? What sweet you? That's not password, that's English. What sweet you wa? W H A. Wa. <laughs> <laughs> what sweet you? It could be W A H. Yeah, that too. What sweet you will sour you? You know, good old time grandma saying, right? Mm -hmm. If you and your partner usually have unprotected sex, what would be in your thoughts if he or she suddenly starts to insist the use of a condom? <laughs> hey, hey. Well, yo, now, seriously now. So if you and your partner usually have unprotected sex, yeah. What would be in your thoughts if he or she suddenly starts to insist? Hey, listen to me, brother man. You, you got to use a condom, honey. Or the man is like, yo, babes, you want no say still, you know. Right, I'm going to start. Yeah, I forgot to start use condom, you know, no, still. No, 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 no you. Yeah. Me, I forgot to start. Start no, use a girl. condom. Right, yeah. no, that's, that's different level, man, depend now, yeah. Yeah, different yeah. meds. All right, so that's that for me would definitely be causing some eyebrows to raise because first of all i'll be saying to myself this man have something way no 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 <laughs> no no i must shut me up don't why he wants no, to start no, using condoms no, no, or no. him going out there no, with mary jane and sue not. No, mary jane and no. sue so he wants to start ensures and protect no, me no 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 and if that's the not. case i appreciate it <laughs> nah, <make> a trick, <laughs> <laughs> nah, the other part says your partner gets usually routine gets usually routine checkups but comes to you one day and says that he or that she has contracted an STI hmm. sexually transmitted infection you give me. what would you be thinking right. your partner is He's thinking, thinking. Yes. and what would be your approach to the situation yeah no, no, no. First thing, mm -hmm. yeah, people who within themselves they know say them out there do some something. No, nah, hold nah, on, nah, man. Nah, let me finish, nah, the man. Nah, let me finish. No, nah, 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 nah. it's not. It's not going to where you think it's going to go. Okay. So there are people out there who are doing some things, and when the partner confronts them with that, kill them dead. Yo, are you you know? Of course. Are you? And them I tell you say nothing wrong with them. Then clean, and they don't have a clue if they're if they're clean or not. Some of them, <laughs> and then you have the other set who know. Without a shadow of a doubt that they have not gone anywhere eh. to, to, to contract something like that. Eh. So clearly in their head, they're saying, it must be you. Eh. And then the other person is saying, yo, me they go. No. Hold on a man, me take a mash off of Sarah. No. And Sue. No. And Kiri, no, you know. No, no, So you no, know what? Uh, no. Um, I have a bone up maybe I'm me still, you know. No, no, I have a bone up a while ago because Kiri is a male name. No. Kiri is no. a female name. No, my girl. And if you may not name Kiri, please call and text and let us know, no, please. Do. And Carrie. no man will name Kiri. Don't call this, you know. <laughs> don't call him that tonight. You know, I'm telling you, you know. Don't call ya. Look oh. here. <laughs> oh, I did not say Gary. I said Kiri. Exactly. Kerry isn't a male name. What's wrong with you, Daddy Road? I'm the Jim Kerry. That's a name. That's a <laughs> third name. You know Look here. Brr. Who like? <laughs> you know what? The next so, one, Cassidy. <laughs> <laughs> There's another part to it. Yes. Which other part is being hidden? Huh. So, like seriously? It's two parts, sir. That one actually part one. So, <laughs> let's go with part one again. If you and your partner usually have unprotected sex, which I guess most partners do, what would be in your thoughts if your partner come to you all of a sudden, you know, people, and say, look, man, look, look here, we have to start using a condom. I insist that we utilize a condom, which mark you, it's the right thing to do. 
Because you don't know. You just, you just don't know. You never know. All right? And part two, your partner gets usual routine checkups, but comes to you one day and says that he or she has contracted an STI. Yeah, what would you be thinking your partner is thinking? Mm -hmm, that may I think. And what would be your approach to the situation? Part three says, do you think it is necessary for your partner to be open to you about his or her past sex life? Especially if an ex is currently known to be carrying an STI. <laughs> hold on the man. That part they put a whole different twist on the whole story now. Because first of all, if it is that he had a previous, you know, is his past sex life really her past sex life. Or her. It don't matter seriously. It matter right it, now. It, it doesn't matter. But if it is that you know, say you didn't have an ex. Yeah? Your current ex had an STI. And you roll in by me and I tell me nothing about the facts about the possible. Look here, don't do it. Just don't do it. Oh, vigilante, vigilante. It's not going to be nice. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this person says, him go out a road and I saw thing <laughs> and I saw thing bad up, something bad happen. <laughs> uh, look here, Th this is very serious, you know. A very very serious topic, this, you know. Because you have some men out there yeah, so who really there. and truly, yeah. right? The, the, the wife in that yard are going to humble herself and mm. easy herself and they go out there and they get what them forget. <laughs> <laughs> we sweet them sour them <laughs> and then come back. Remind come me. give the poor girl and the poor wife and the poor lady a yard. The STI when they go contract. Remind the old cruff them. It hurt, <laughs> man, for true. Don't ladies. Remind me to tell you what <laughs> No, it's not nice to chew. You can't do that. If you're going to go out there, we are not endorsing you going out there, men. But because we know you're going to go out there because according to Uno, Uno, um, what do they call it? Po they are polygamists. Polygamous. Yes? Uh, uh, yes, polygamous and the polygamists. <laughs> so, um, because you're going to go, if you're going to go, for God's sake, why you not use the protection out there, yeah? Since you're off you go, you feel like you're off you go out there. Real use talk. the protection. And, and don't come home, come and use protection with your girl, and go out there, go and do all kind of something, and expose yourself. You're not, you're not too fool. If a mm -hmm. caller on the 453. Good night, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. It's clear. Good night, yes, sir. I'm not meaning Carrie. I am a girl. You name Carrie? <laughs> Hold on. A DG, man. <laughs> I didn't pick up the voice readily. Yes, DG, what's up, girl? Here, here, you need to apologize. Miss only man to show? No, I, I, no, I didn't. No, all I heard was no, Carrie. No, what am I laughing now? What's me? don't know what's sweet him. I don't be that in a man. A Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do the program. Yes, you know, I can, you know. Please, may I give you a credit card number? Yes. May I pay you for as of now, you're alone to the program. Yes, ma'am. Carry any money or any, and carry. Now, call in, please. Please. Now, beg them, for sure. Beg, you know, call in. Book money and carry. You know, I didn't know, say, you think my advice was a man's advice. But I call it now and I can't see me and carry. <laughs> 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 I'm one of the ones in the studio get burn up. <laughs> I clear burn up the something, you know. I clear burn up the thing, you know. So the man have, uh, so the man have uh, whatever name, name, and then this is the and carry. No. <laughs> but honestly, <laughs> you know what I wonder? Yes. I wonder sometimes, I see some men, decent men, or so I think. Yes. Um, have some wives at home. Yes. And I know that persons in relationship, bit, um, men and women, can be promiscuous. Right. But I wonder, why don't you protect yourself? Now, how do I know you're not protecting yourself? When I see a man is married or a woman, and, and a man is married, and, and, a, and a, a girl can say, boy, well, I'm pregnant for you. Now, whether it is your child, yes or no, that simply means that the fact that she stay I'm pregnant for you, that alone showed me that it was unprotected sex, yes. is it? Right, right. And so if you have a relationship going on and you choose to be promiscuous, why not protect yourself? Now, pregnancy is one, but as you have said, listen, there's all kind of diseases out there. And the woman that is with you, that is 
a one night stand who is on the side. Let me tell you something. It's like when you say a friend or a friend and an next friend or an next friend. The woman out there will keep you up on the side. She have other people that keep she. Yes. Now, in the world that we're living in, um, it's a hard to do that daddy rule and a game ball. So I'm saying, <laughs> if, 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 if you, <laughs> Karen, big up yourself, wife in life. We know you're you know you straight. And we know you're tolerant little hope, so you're not getting a bun. But I'm just saying that you date a man like that who know. Karen, forgive me. Me just use your husband. If you date that who know, you have to go get somebody with your nails. You get somebody with your ear. Cause him now get the money. No so, tell. One video ear, one video nail. Me even know what serve purpose him that serve. Cause <laughs> you know, I came money that tired. So me know. Me even know what serve purpose him serve. But I'm just saying that you have women out there now that have one man for the nails, one for the ear, one for party, one for so and so. And I'm saying that. If if if, the, if if these men, these women are not protecting themselves, let me say the women, them, that simply means that they are pass on one thing to the other, to the other, to the other. Yeah. And since we live in a world of promiscuous or whatever the word is, why aren't we protecting ourselves? Mm. And, and, and it is so sad that back in the days you had to buy a condom. You cannot go anywhere now. I mean, I mean, so they just like, give away and I beg you. And the, the kind of sexual activity that I see that here that some people is getting into. Oh no, I forgot oh, what man I can't go down the night and tell it over on our head. Because <laughs> all part and everybody getting every every sec sec down and get involved. So it, this is not condom no is not only on you know what. Mm -hmm. But I'm cover all part out and know to really, really protect on yourself. Yeah. And so it not might not be I'm quite aware about how HIV is transmitted from one to the other. So right. it's not by merely just touching or whatever. But listen, there's not Life is more than just HIV, you know. There are so many other sexually transmitted oh, yes. things out here. And so, in final, um, uh, uh, final, let me just say what I have done to a lot of students that I have known and I want to tell them about abstaining and whatever. I open my phone and show them HIV and other diseases as it's worse. With tongue are rotting off and vagina rotting off and penis are rotting off and all these things. Yes. I'm saying that you must feel it hard for you as a wife sitting in a house. I know you're not dealing with nobody except your husband. Your husband come in. Come oh, God, in. man. You know? Oh, God, man. Good you God, man. man. It must be. You know, so you're and, 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 and coming and gear. And sometimes it's it bad that, uh, that you may even want to fit the kind of say, Yo, you give me, how you give me. Let me tell you something, man. But I'm saying, men, protect yourself. Women. You know, now you are run, run, run the place. Protect yourself. Real talk. I'm happy that you're alone in studio, Cleo. But yes. You know, when we call to them, for talk and all these things. And I say, I love the fact that the power that I have when we when, when call to Real me, talk. Sit, poodle, sit. Ha, 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 I don't know where he is, you know, your radio husband. Dan, Dan, I know he's listening. I know he's listening, so he's going to be calling in soon so he, so he can hear his voice. All right, my darling. All right, mama. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, DG. Great hearing from DG every time. Let's see what's on the text line in the meantime. Uh, we had a 913 number calling in earlier. We invite you to call right back. Um, Kevin in Tampa, Florida says, Happy Earth Strong. Okay, to Michelle. My uncle catch the STD and give it to his wife. When he found out that his wife catch the disease, he went to the pharmacy and bought some 250 capsule <laughs> and give her secretly. Yeah. After a while, she found out, found out and the kitchen become the bottle battle grown pot and pan became missiles which is right which oh, is right that, that's violent so him no violate her no, eh, by giving her call on dan dan calling in and i think his wife is also calling back yes caller good night welcome to real talk all right you're your wife is a door that woman have man one man to this one man to that one yes man to that so, and we have that set on a program or the woman and promise us and have so many men, you know. And you, and you come to my woman's voice now. But, but it's true. Yeah, and know. men are equally yeah, promiscuous. Yeah, 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 men yeah. But, are but, 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 equally but, 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 promiscuous because they allow the women who they know have somebody else to roll in the same way. 
So they are equally well, so. We know that, but 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 what? But 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 but. It's good to hear a confession from a female it's saying. It's no it. confession. She's just speaking the reality. <laughs> I know it's reality. I know, I know it's reality, but it, but it also reinforces what it's. No, reinforce nothing. She only has to state what is. But there is a DJ. Me now let you later. She's right here. All right, Dan Dan. Thank you. He's locked in. Hello, caller on the four five three. Well, uh, tell your boy. <laughs> Turn your radio down, Donald. Give thanks, give thanks. Respect, respect. Hey, all right. Uh, <laughs> when I touch that, we should look at subject. <laughs> and then it's now a serious subject, you know? Very serious. And, and that is why I tell people this. If if me if me are reach another situation for my club to argue, I have to come with a medical certificate. You know? <laughs> Hold on there. Okay. Hold on. Yeah. You said make 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 love. Is that different from having sex? No, making love is different from having sex. Okay, just just want to hear from your view because I agree. Yeah, sex, sex is. Sex is one of them things where you're just one night. Bop, boop, bop, bop. Yeah. Yeah, the girl mm-hmm. on the side. <laughs> the, 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 the side chick type of thing. Yeah? But, 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 but yeah. ho- Donald, you made a yeah. statement just now that if you were to make love to a lady, you found a lady who you're interested in, and if you were to really make love to this woman again, she would have to come with a medical certificate. Yeah, However... Five now. Yes, but but this medical certificate. She never come with nothing, you know. If what? If I was twenty-two, she never have come with nothing. Because them time they were like wicked. Yeah, run road. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> but at this age, couldn't she just see that? Oh my God, Donald has got it going on, and I want to be with Donald. So I'm gonna cook up a certificate and can't come give him. Nah, no. man, she can't cook up nothing. Me and I go go look for it. Okay, the, the doctor. The, the, oh. Yes, Oh. And we are gonna have, we are gonna go back to the old time days, you know, where we where we did for like six months, oh. and three months, and <laughs> we get to know each other. But will you have that patience, Donald? Men have that patience yes, anymore? Man. Remember, say, man, fifty five, men are twenty two again, man. So you have the patience now? Two, yeah, man, twenty two. You want to lick down everything, you know, man, and you want to tear up everybody, you know, man. Okay. But now you reach to the relaxation stage in life. And you have to you go know, slow say. naturally, anyway. Well, you know, say now is the years where you have to put together for the rest of the year. Yes. So you have to put together that perfect. <laughs> you understand? Yes, sir. Yeah. DG says something where, where I really love still, you know? Mm-hmm. DG says uh, the, the, the woman, I have a man for the year, and one for the drive home, and one for, one for everything. Mm-hmm. Yes, and, and a real reality that, you know? But, you know, she said it, she made it, she said it generally, but I don't think the average woman operates like that. What is the average woman? It, no, it's, it's no 50, 60 percent of the women. It's way less than that. Nah, man. It is about 90 percent of the women. <laughs> no, Donald, no. Yeah, Donald, no, no, no. I yeah, beg to. Di- right. Donald, no. <laughs> Let me tell you something. DJ, you know, I'm you, you no, 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 no. Eh? So clear, just say no, yeah, no, no, no. Let me tell you something. <laughs> you see, the most. You see, you see what's going on in the society right now. In terms, everything is about M O N E Y. Everything <laughs> is about money. And you see the woman, them, them go hard because they want more money more than anything else. Oh my! <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Ah, that yeah. Is. So them go hard. <laughs> you see, the, I, and I want to tell you something too. You see the woman, them who are career woman. Uh huh. Them are go harder than the woman. Oh, them my. Harder. Oh, my. <laughs> so you said the ones who are earning them own money still yeah, going man. harder because they want a, a lot more. Yes, man. Them are go hard. You understand? <laughs> That's yeah, just hard. <laughs> yeah, man. Trust me, man. But here's me to you oh, now, still. If, like I said, <laughs> at my age now, Going after a woman, she, have to, she like me tell her a long time, and you know, it is better for have a broke young girl 
more than a broke old woman. <laughs> why is that? What you mean, why is that? Then what you do with all of your life and all of your years? That you reach 50 and you know nothing. <laughs> you see what I say? <laughs> that means uh, you, I, I look, you look so mad if you have out now in your old age and you can't have a and bake. You can't have a and bake good all. Donald, you behave know? yourself. It's not about behaving yourself, it is the truth. <laughs> Donald. You know, but, <laughs> but, you know, the promiscuity thing. I want to tell you something. I want to tell you something. A friend of mine, you see, called me the other night, see? And when he called me, he said, boy, I have something to tell you. I'm not even know how to tell you, you know. I'm going to say, eh? And he said, boy, him there in one position where he couldn't go home. Then my wife called him and said to him, say, you're not come home. And he said, no. And she said, all right, cool. Tomorrow I can look for you, man. All right, everything all right. About five minutes after my phone ring, and she said, "You make sure when you are coming up, you park the car down the road and walk come up and walk come up in the car. Them people around are so fast. And if you not drive the car and you take a taxi, make sure the taxi man don't know where you are going. Up. You just make case and come out and take your time. Walk around the block one or two times, and then you can come on my heart. <laughs> Jesus. I bought a man she attacked you, but I realized that she attacked her husband. Ra, 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 Look, Donald, it's now 10.30, Donald. <laughs> Donald, it's 10.30. We go to the break. When we come back, we take more of your call, Donald. Do. <laughs> yes, I man, beg you. <laughs> the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Lord of Mercy. Native audio, Nassal, yeah, we soon come. <laughs> oh my God. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call Call VJ Printing at 893-2266. DIV Hardware and DIV Home Center's pre-Christmas sales event is back again. This Christmas, DIV is giving you six days of deals. Visit any DIV location between December 16 and December 21 to find amazing deals on our entire inventory with up to 50% off select products from building materials to house your items. Save big on paints, tiles, windows, doors, blocks, steel, cement, lumber, and so much more. Don't miss DIB Hardware and DIB Home Center's six days of deals free Christmas sale. DIB, where we do it best. Are you sick of living an average life and tired of just getting by? Do you want to take your life to the next level? Learn the secrets of the super successful. Listen to Power in a Half Hour with Coach Mark this and every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Learn the habits of the super successful and how to make these habits work for you. Learn to turn your dreams and desires into reality. You can win in the game of life. Let Coach Mark show you how every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518-2399. To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399. 518-2399. Don't forget, 518-2399. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, the show is rated A for adults only. So we're expecting only adults to really be listening in. 
tonight ensure that the kids are asleep and adults start from 21 and up and adults are from 21 and up yeah. real talk so yeah 18 year and adolescent <laughs> <laughs> adult adolescents yes adolescents oh boy hello um hello caller on the 954 can't, can't um who and who um, but you know, send me and Dandan already, but me want Ada and Donald for me. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I like to hear, trust me. You know, when, when me hear he was giving the story, like I said, I wonder at what stage I ever realized that the woman, husband, she made mistake at that time. Oh, my goodness. Can you imagine? I love it. For real. She had to tell her husband, say, walk on the block and come on back. Oh. Not really, I know the bonnet one she had to Oh, my God. She's supposed to want to sink. I'm sorry. But, but I call back to clarify something. I don't want persons to think I'm saying that that is all the majority of women. Exactly. Sorry, we have decent women amongst us. But let me just say to you, I just like how Jamaica have a lot of positive things happening. But because crime and violence is violence as it is, it's not like Jamaica is a bad place. That is how it works with women. We have decent women that is also a, 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 a one burner, but they're not getting a recognition. Yeah. They get the recognition as a person who out there where our five six. And the reality of it clear. Whether we want to accept this or no. Men are promiscuous. Women are promiscuous. But like my mother always says, you can't do what a man do and still be a lady. And so men are I'm not giving any man any by, a bypass to, to go do. But men are natural hunters. Men are hunters. And so men is not on the receiving end, and I said we should not be doing what the man is doing. Man, I, because a man can go here in a clear. Mm -hmm. And I feel instead a woman and, 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 and drop her down. Just like the caller said, him have sex, him don't make love to her. Yeah. We are creatures of emotion. Yes. So whether we like it or no, we get attached to this person. Now, if that would, if a woman, if a woman, oh, if that would, if a woman said that would, and say, look, now you see so yeah, man, thanks. And he's gone on the road and do everything about her. But that would see a woman and say, wow, you look nice. You look here. You look old, you're shouting, but you know same like me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so women are creatures of emotions. And so I'm saying that we, 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 we ought to be careful what we are doing. And whether we like this or no, we are sisters. We can tell us that women out there are living pain. Okay, one for the ear, one for the whatever, whatever. And mm -hmm. them, them laugh like a joke thing. And that's why I tell him. I said, if you don't want a man, don't take him thing. It's not like some men have said, but I mean, I invest in another girl. I don't invest in another body because they're not chop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Real <laughs> talk. Real talk, my lady. All right. The D DG there. Um, Father Jacko, how are you doing? Good to see you. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm glad she called to clarify because yes, but we still there are women. No, 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 ninety no percent, nothing. No, we said we don't, well, Donald is misguided. No, 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 no. Donald never said DG is saying. No. I we know, saying, we, but you're wrong. In 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 in, in our fraternity, ninety percent. In That's our fraternity, 99.9% .9 of you men are promiscuous. Anything you want to say, but we say 90%. <laughs> I stick by two way, two way, two way we are talking oh, about. Oh, boy. We want money for this and money, especially the career woman. So, don't do that. I can fend for myself. Then, so, if you're if you not the 10, see not the 10, nobody comes to <laughs> nothing. Not about 90% of them talk for themselves. All right, so in case you're just joining us, guys, let's share the Vox Pop with you one more time before we go to one of the articles that relate to what we're talking about. All right? Um, what sweet you will sour you. If you and your partner usually have unprotected sex, what would be in your thoughts if he or she suddenly starts to insist on the use of a condom? <laughs> um, your partner gets usual routine checkups, but comes to you one day and says that he or she has contracted an STI. What would, what would you be thinking that your partner is thinking? <laughs> <laughs> and what would be your approach to the situation? Do you think it is necessary for your partner to become, to be open rather, to you about his or her past sex life, especially if an ex is currently known to be carrying an STI? <laughs> so, um, as I said earlier, I um, in into Daddy Road for part one of this Vox Pop, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if my partner decides that they decide they want to eventually start using 
a condom it's either that he's now doubting that um or he's suspecting me of doing something yes, yes be quiet yes. just be quiet let me speak no, yeah, talk, <laughs> yeah, talk, talk, i'm thinking of all the possibilities now i'm not think, saying that's that's the way no I'm but just saying you weren't saying that be, earlier i'll get there eventually i may okay, do okay. i mentioned the one that came to my mind first up oh you're slow no, I'm not so I'm very fast. I'm very fast, to be honest. On the on the contrary. You mean fast, not people business. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't I don't I don't have time for that one. I don't, I don't have time for that one. Um one of the things that could be thought of is that, okay, you know what? She I do something. I'm a suspect her of doing something, so you know what? It's full time I start. Full time I start, you know, protecting myself. Or it could very well be, as I alluded earlier, guys, that he, which is very highly likely, Leave that he alone. is out there carrying no, on, no, 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 carrying no, no, on, no, no. and sometimes they are carrying on too, <laughs> yeah, R right, with, with you know who. So it's very, very difficult, ladies, to, to, to not wonder if it is that he's doing something and some things out there too, why won't come with condom? No. And I'm, then trick your ladies to say, oh, well, you know, so what me? me? Me and you do a thing, you know, me realize, say, uh, me thing I itch me, you know, I see some bumps come up, you know, me say to myself, yeah. boy, yeah. you know, where you're going with, you know, sis. Uh, they, they, yeah. they might not want to come out and say explicitly, you know, but they might go around, go around, like you want to try if he say, are you giving bumps on him, Willie? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Or are you making Willie? Swell up, yeah, uh, and bruise up or whatever up, and, and, and rush up and uh, kind of yeah. ugly looking something on it. Yeah, don't let them you trick you. One. Worse if you ladies know within themselves, say, when they're not going anywhere, and if you even do go somewhere, you put on watching condom and use your different, different condom and something, 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 and you're not gonna wear raw, right? So when he come home to you with him raw <laughs> self, well hurt up and sick up. No making yeah. trick on no ladies. No make them trick on no. Yeah, yeah, I got too much night. Right? We, no bother make Donald. Look here. No, <laughs> no bother make Donald and in crew come try turn this thing pan with you here. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, give it there. <laughs> <laughs> but a true, a real talk. Some of, the, some, of the the men are, some of the men are tricky. <laughs> and when they know they have very gullible women and wives, they yeah, try and twist about. things and push things on them. Don't let them do it to you, ladies. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what this message says before we go to the... Um, the Good night. I tune in late, so I didn't get the topic. This is Bright Yai. Bright Yai? Bright Yai, I'm glad you're on board. You ought to be listening. Right, yeah, we're talking about if all of a sudden your partner, your girlfriend, come tell you, say, she want to start use condom now when you never used to use no condom before. What come in your mind? Eh? What you are thinking about? Why you think she want to come to you with that? No. What could be going through your mind? And we also are looking at the fact that your, your partner and you normally go do some routine checkup. When you go to doctor regular and check up on yourself and do a little test and HIV test and all these things. And no clean and no good. But one day, one day, you no, know, the girl just come and decide, say, look at the man. She want to tell you, say, she has contracted an STI. Probably I'll suggest, right? I say, are you gear STI? Sexually transmitted infection. Right? What you thinking that she thinking? <laughs> eh? And how oh, you we approach the situation. When you when you hear what she said to you, you want it to yourself say, what a girl really think me I think. <laughs> mm -hmm. What is girl thinking? What you think? Yes. When or you bring, know when what you she bring that to me for. Yeah, when bring that to How me for. Really, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. in go with yourself. So do you think it's necessary for your partner to be open about is or her past sex life. So you have your girlfriend. You think she need to come out and tell your bride uh, all that, you know, whoever she's been with and what sex life was like before you? Is it important? And question, is it important particularly if it is that the, 
you know, the, the, the ex partner where she used to have, now have some form of STI. Mm-hmm. Some form of infection is there, you know. You're so here, so the man have some infection. You really want to still know about her past, or it really matter the same way. Mm. Real talk. That's what we're talking about tonight. All right, so that rule, I want to hear your view on the first part, though. All of a sudden, Karen wants to use a condom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what would be your thoughts, sir? She don't want no more yod. Hold on there. <laughs> yeah, she don't want no more yod. She don't want no more yod. Yeah. Oh. And what's that? Where's the pill? The pill. You didn't ask her what, what about the use of the pill or the injection? No. Or the patch? No, because I know she really is. So she don't want no more Okay. I'm not sure if I'm going to put her on. Okay. You know, I think so. The kids are great. Oh, okay. okay. So you would think, so one man would think, look, she wants no more children. Yeah. So here we go now. Start using a condom. Because the withdrawal is not necessarily very safe. Right? Safe so far as still on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. All right. So you normally do your routine checkups. Yeah, I read but, really hard to <laughs> but we want to hear your part first, man. No, your but, part should be interesting. No, but some of them something I want to go wicked for you. Not even a man. I'm not doing a line up. That's why I watch you. Make you make you the eye the whole your crew. Have the time. Here we go. Have the time. Here we go with this very very interesting article tonight. HIV slash AIDS, and of course you know HIV can lead, lead to full-blown AIDS, right? Yeah. And that's where it becomes uh, well, deadly, deadly automatically. Um, slight uptick in number of HIV AIDS cases in Jamaica in 2018. Hmm. Almost 1,200 new cases of HIV AIDS were diagnosed in Jamaica last year as the number of persons across the island living with the disease climbed to 26,400. 426. Mm-mm. This moved the country's HIV AIDS prevalence. And that's what we're sure about. To so 1.8% in the general population. Whoa. Up from 1.7 in 2017. Oh my God. The figures are contained in the 2018 Economic and Social Survey Jamaica, published by the Planning Institute of Jamaica, PIOJ, and tabled in Parliament on Tuesday. Mm, where am I? Is that where it ends? Could never. Okay, read more. Okay. It is noted that 621 or 50% of the 1,197 new HIV AIDS cases recorded in Jamaica yeah, people. last year were males. Let me repeat that part. I didn't hear that part. It is noted that 621 mm-hmm. or 52% of yes. the 1,197 new HIV AIDS cases recorded in Jamaica last year were males. You know why? With persons. No, you know why? No, I don't know why. You want me, ex- you want me to explain that? Because they're more pr- promiscuous than women? No. <laughs> no Look at his me- face. No, it, do- no, it doesn't <laughs> mean that. It, it means that a single female is having sex with more than one male. That's what it means. Hmm. And that's you all right there, not Daddy Road. Hmm. I know. That's not that you like you a while ago. I know. Yeah. Um, Why am I making the with, you, I know you too well. I know, yeah, I know, I know. I know that I know you as Tone. Um, what's the um, you are the bright boy. What's it? What them call that the is the idiot. <laughs> <laughs> bipolar, the bipolar, tripolar one. Yes, one thousand of the one thousand nine, one thousand one hundred and seventy nine new cases. It Which says goes back to the woman being more promiscuous. Jamaica. Okay. Last year were males, with persons in the 20 to 39 age group accounting for the largest share. And that's dangerous. That's so a these young problem. people. Yeah, party, 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 party age group, yeah. More females living with HIV AIDS were found in the age group 20 to 29 years, See? while males dominated the 30 to 39 age group. Mm-hmm. So what I'm getting then is... Um, twi- male and women, women in their 20s. W- women over that age are more yeah. settled. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And the men 20, over 20, that age still are one of his 
spawn their roots. Right. But probably a little, 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 little contained, contained, a little more contained. Much, yeah. yeah. The PIOJ noted that the national HIV response continues to work towards the World Health Organization's 90, um, 90, uh, 1990-90 treatment. 92, 90, 90, okay. Treatment targets by 2020, where 90% of people who are HIV positive should know their status. Simple. 90% of those diagnosed should be retained in care on antiretroviral ARV, and 90% of those on ARV should be virally suppressed. Okay. So, for those who don't know, the antiretroviral retroviral drug is what uh, sustains you, yeah, okay. preserves you. Yeah, well, longevity. We have some more longevity as it relates to um, how far, depending on how far blown your disease is, though. Uh, with, uh, with the HIV and your treatment, it pr prolongs your life a little more. All right. So, f so far, Jamaica has managed to ensure that approximately 78% of the estimated number of persons li living with HIV has been diagnosed, while 37% of that total is getting treatment. Whoa. Okay. But only 40% of the persons living with HIV are retained in care on ARVs, and only 56% are virally suppressed. Oh. Mm -hmm. The National HIV STI unit began utilizing the test and start approach as a strategy to achieve the 1990-90 treatment targets in January 2017. Mm -hmm. According to the PIOJ, although Jamaica has successfully increased access to treatment and care services, Analysis of the data related to retention in care has shown increased loss to follow up among patients on antiretroviral treatment. No. Oh well, my cause that them probably feel at them better. Mm -hmm. right? right. And then then, then stop use the, mm -hmm. the drug the um the treatment. Because there's an ad that speaks to when when you take the drug and in the ad she alluded to every day and the man was like every day and she's like you don't want to live every day exactly so you have to be continuous or continual in in your treatment regarding linkage to care 75 percent of patients diagnosed have been linked to care and of those linked 62 percent have been retained in care. Of those retained in care, 95% are on ARVs, but only 52% are virally suppressed. The PIOJ said there is now an emphasis on enclosing the gaps regarding loss of follow-up and viral suppression at all sites, and this process will continue. Failure to adhere to treatment and care has been identified as a barrier to further reducing AIDS morbidity and mortality. You see, that's the thing. No, no. It, it's just kind of stupid to me because you go out there and you know you're, you're, you're promiscuous and you, you chose that way. For whatever reason, that was your choice. And now you discover that you have the HIV which would have been a possibility based on your lifestyle. Yeah, because people who probably not even promiscuous, I get it much less. <laughs> so if you're out there and you're promiscuous, you're increasing your chances of getting this thing. Now you get it, yeah? It's, a, it's only common sense that you could continue taking the treatment. Don't live in denial and tell yourself you're okay and you're fine. You're going to die. You're going dead. Gradually. Come on. Get treatment. Go get the treatment and take care of yourself as best as you can because this is something you can't reverse. At least not yet. You don't mm. find no cure for yet. So, you know, do your treatment. Come on, man. And stop passing it on to people who... You know what? Let me read on. 
<laughs> Failure to adhere to treatment and care has been identified as a barrier to further reducing HIV, reducing AIDS morbidity and mortality. Across the island, males experienced higher direct and indirect AIDS mortality compared with females, and a high percentage of percentage of deaths occurred between ages 40 and 59. Jamaica's strategic policy pr um, priorities for HIV are guided by the National Integrity Strategic Plan, NISP, for Sexual and Reproductive Health, 2014 to 2019. The NISP is consolidated around five priority areas with, with associated interventions, key actions, and outcomes. These are prevention, prevention, and sexual and reproductive health outreach. So they're looking at how we can teach the preventative measures because prevention better than cure. And there is no cure, guys. So remember now. <laughs> and reproductive health outreach, sexual and reproductive health outreach, universal access to treatment care and support and services enabling environment and human rights monitoring and evaluating evaluation of hiv family planning and sexual health responses and sustainability governance and leadership last year jamaica's effort to tackle the hiv aids problem was boosted by grants from international partners including the u.s United States Agency of International Development, USAID, right? Which provided U.S. $7.6 million, $185.9 million Jamaican dollars to the Ministry of Health for the national response to HIV. All right. Um, should we continue? All right. So, hmm. very, very serious issue. All right. And there are people who are afraid to go get tested. I don't know why. When they're worse if yeah. you know your lifestyle, go get yourself tested and find out what's going on. All right. Listen. Some of these things now have nothing to do with promiscuity. Right. True. Some of it. But some right. of it does. Because I'm certain that more than one point whatever percent that that represents mm -hmm. of this population is actually promiscuous. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, when you look at the relationship changes, the risks that people are actually engaging themselves in, mm -hmm. and how, I, I, let me tell you something, and people might cuss, believe it or not. You know, say, you can have multiple partners and all partners therein remain healthy. What are, what are you trying to say? See, I know you were going to look at that. And I, I know I was going to get that, that, that kind of snarl from you and many other people. What are you trying to say? It's, it's a genuine question. <laughs> With an attitude. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is that it is highly possible it's actually factual that you can have multiple partners and every one within that environment do not contract I any agreed. form of needless to say but then the infection. risks but then the risks are greater having the multiple partners now did you know that there's a study that says um, slower drivers are the cause of most accidents. <laughs> All right. Uh, Leave it right there, sir. So <laughs> let's, let's not talk about risk. <coughs> let's talk about more probability. We have a, we have a caller on the line. Yeah. Um, good night, caller. And I'm Donald again. Right? Yes, Donald. Donald Daddy Road. <laughs> yes, sir. Remember, there's, there's a movement now in the world, especially among African men. You have more than one wife, right? Right. You have a lot of them. I, I think um, a couple of them even died in Jamaica too. This guy, 
Orang ni Sejak nak dia Sebuah Mak botik tu Nak ni muat Tidak jadi Oh Okay then Yeah, yeah, turn off the radio, Donald. Yeah, yeah. Donald, radio, please. Well, turn the, the radio feedback. off. The feedback is coming here. Yeah, fine, sir. What really happened is that there, there is cultures around the world where the man doesn't feel like him more, more than one while Indians do it too. We have Middle East people do it. Mm-hmm. We have money people do it. We have more than one while. I understand. I think, I think they come up on Facebook. But the man must stand up more than 21 wives. The man said, man, I never see them thing there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, we, we are aware of it. Right. So, I'm on job multiple partners. And I said, I'm on job enough wives. Yeah. You see, man? So, if I uh, expect to just my CD, you know, unless one of them wives, the girl, if one of them wives, they jump out, <laughs> out of the crew. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of them wives that jump out to me not trouble in a man. Mm. You understand that? Means, uh, if one of them wives they go bring in an STD, he might infect another 20. Yep. And then all of them wives they will get mad now. Mm-hmm. See, I am. They're all dead. And next thing you know, they infect another 21. <laughs> and then 21 in the Canada 42. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, they, and, they, and, they, and it just go on and go on. The promiscuity around the world, man, it's gone. Gone. But it is more so. I want to tell you a little lull when they stop talking now. I'm going to talk to a friend of mine. I just want to find out how I should come. I'm going to ask her the question. I said, is it, is it that more women is more trust from mischief than more men? And she said, yes. Mm-hmm. Because all of the women, them want more and more and more. Them guys just get rid of them greedy and everything. So them eyes just woke up to everything. So them so w- go and fight hard. Donald. Yeah. The women who, the women want more and more and more. So they go after more and more men. Mm-hmm. What would you say about the men who take these women, take these women? Aren't they as equally greedy? That's what I want to know. Hold on, Donna. Man, a general hunter, you know. This, no, no, no. Let, let's not go there. Oh, hold on, hold we on. We hear hold that. Donna and Lady Cleo. It is it's now, now 11.01. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so quickly. Donna, call us back, please. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing <laughs> Services. All right. VJ Printing Services and Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting Guys. Stick around. We'll be more, back with more after the break. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 Eight nine three two two six six. Prince just touched down in the airport. A royal day to everyone. It's Shungi with the voice of DJ Prince. Your royalty of music selection. Represented for my show, your show, Detour. Every Saturday night from 8 p.m. to 12 midnight. With mixed moves and attitudes. And ladies, don't forget the special Detour hour from 11 to 12 midnight. Styles FM, the world listens. You just gotta tune in. Mm-hmm. For the best quality in sound reinforcement and backlining, Native Audio. We have professional engineers with over 20 years of experience. So call us and we'll take care of your parties, wedding receptions, barbecues, conferences and small stage shows. Crystal clear sound, Native Audio. Our prices are the best. Call us at 871-5212. That's 871-5212. Native Audio. We make your events audible. 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 Audible.
club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event, let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low-priced promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Welcome back to Styles FM Radio and we're looking at the issue of partners and HIV AIDS. We are back with Donald on the 453. Hello, Donald. You know, my man, I love Daddy Road so much. Yes. Daddy Road, Daddy Road, a good youth. No, UL Jackson is a good youth. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm going to tell you something. Okay. We are used with steam cage. We are used with steam cage and a one burner. You have to recommend this for that. Oh, whoa. Yeah, <laughs> that's because when I use, him know my son good enough. Mm. I'm going to tell you, my son and him are the same. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, sometimes I wish my son would be like Daddy Road, you know? <laughs> a nice, a nice one, 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 one female, and you understand what I say? Mm. Yeah, but I love you, that girl, that girl, you understand? Because we didn't make a bit, we had the quick in tea, clear. Yes. But with age, with age for maturity. It should, uh, it should. All these things are wrong, you know? Yeah. Sad to say but, for yeah, some men, though, Donald. Age, age comes with maturity, and it should. But for some men, they calm down because their member not working anymore so much. And, and, and why yeah, you don't put it to the member not work? Because you're not good in the age, you must good in the top now. No, you have some men who don't good in the nothing at all. <laughs> and who are you for time, tell too. So you can find the men can't satisfy. Now, who are you for this way? Yeah, sir. All right, sir. But it's just the maturity we have to know, sir. You, know, um, you, you reach the stage in life where, and that's why I recommend that the road. Yes. Them man they reach a stage in life where them settle down, them, them have one man. Uh, you know my biggest suggestion in life? We have six mothers to eight children, you understand? If yeah. you have one mother for eight children, that means that you could have seen how them grow, you could have looked how them grow, you could have slapped yes. them and then you want to get slapped them down. But most of the, most of the women, them too, you know. All right, you said to a woman, you know, some have three baby mother. And you see one, you know. She's not even a DV yet. And you see one, and you see her come off of her. I'm done. Okay. Mm. Yeah. And if you did have just one woman, she would know why. Because I saw the world still. <laughs> you understand? Mm. This HIV thing, this HIV thing, gone. Gone, 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 gone. Wow. And when you look on it, at the prettiest of the prettiest, them, I can't track them thing, you know, you know. Yes. You see the photo you just read? The poor photo you just read is just a drop in the box with man. Mm. Coat and Tony is one of the places that's infected so much. Uh, yes, I've heard about that. I've heard from credible, credible sources that it's seriously here. Yeah. Yeah. Serious, serious stuff in, a, in a this parish and this town. And when they look uh, like that, is, uh, all of the parties, them, uh, all of the things they were promoted. Hey, yeah, one group there said, I said, them name are eight or nine. Them have one name. I want them, them boys that have mother and father and sister, mother and sister and aunties and cousins and them with it. Because mm. them people talk about some girls sometimes, you have to wonder. 
that we're going after them brain. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? The whole aspect of the sex you to sell from back in the day. Yes. But it's gone now. It's mash up now. Yeah, man. Because people are going to party now for the longest while still. N- literally naked. Naked. Yep. Oh, hey, oh, you can look for all the women and walk up down the world and you, and you see our body jar them. You know what I said? You know what I said? That's something I witnessed to that. Oh, you can see a woman with a tattoo on her breast. Who could have looked for a woman breast? Eh? When I see a woman and you look for a woman with a tattoo on her breast, hey, I'm on her face. Still. To go there, sir. To go put a tattoo there, sir. And I'm on that. Remember me telling her that. Yes. See me? So when I look for the whole thing, the whole thing gone, man. Gone for two, man. I'm everybody every day. You can't have one sickness. I'm going to take on the next one for yourself. True. You understand? Yeah, yeah. So like I mean, you know, my kidney them mash up. I'm going to have a dialysis machine to see your life. I mean, if you take on your child by myself. <laughs> Me dead, hey. My thing dead. It dead. It not work. <laughs> not work. Trust me. We can't, we can't, we can't go do that. No, they're not smart, some of them. Not yeah. smart. But I hope, I hope I hope people are listening to that program tonight, you know. I hope so, too. I hope them are listening to it, and I hope them are taking into consideration a lot of the things, you know. Real talk. And even, and even the people that were thinking about why they're still enough where they can't give out and nobody now find out. Just don't make the wrong phone call. Oh my god. Yeah man, big up styles of them. I love the program they wanna do. Big up press stage. Big DG. your DG this evening. Sweet. Nice program show. Uh, big love up the program. Thank you so much. Big up yourself too, Donald. You yeah, make it what it is. Thank you. Yeah man, no respect. All right, same here. And of course, we got to give Donald his props because, trust yeah. me, a very interesting addition no, to our discussion. Question. And more, you tell me if. Who is asking, Daddy Rude or UL? <laughs> Phone <I> ring. Because <laughs> <laughs> if it's UL, I'm scared. If it's, if it's Daddy Rude, I'm scared. Um, hello, caller on the 954. Welcome to Real Talk. Mm-hmm. Yes, good night. Chami, what's going on, girl? Oi. Not a thing with day, I know. Oh, you sound like a cold, sir. The I was cold when rain and uh, uh, cold time are come. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask yeah, you. Rain and snow and cold time, so I was cold. Cool. Yes, mm-hmm. definitely. Oh, I, I, go on. Not a thing, I have to hurry up and pack up for go back to Florida. I can't manage this weather. <laughs> 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 I, I, yeah, I, man, this away that, uh... <laughs> I, I want to ask you the Vox Pop question if it is that you and your partner normally the gentleman normally go unprotected but all of a sudden come now want to put on condom what no be kind of cheat man oh I mean could I go pick up all tax when you want we are we are tax now <laughs> the same pick up something charming See, I'm talking about the same kitchen, the same kitchen, the same kitchen, the same kitchen, the same Oh, boy, 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 boy. Drop the Vox Pop beer for me, Cassidy. Um, so, but, but what are the other possibilities, though, though Charmy? Mm-hmm. What other reasons? Well, t- yes. If, if you are your partner the for a while, mm-hmm. are you living that life and then all and has to be in command, say, no, sir. We know I live so no more. He must know then pick up some tax. So he probably the tribe save you. Can so probably have a heart and know why you get in tax when you get. So he mm. probably try to save you. Well, that would be good, don't it? That would be really nice. Yeah, yeah that would be nice of him. A, a, a good man that. Tax and you know why you think it's good. Some of them have no heart and no fear. Ah, true. It would be nice if you yeah. just walk away, sit down, break my heart and go on. That's right. Right. <laughs> Come in and walk, catch my up. That's right. And then some of them behave as if it's you give them. Some of them have a way That's of right. of infecting the woman yes, and then pretending like say as she give him. Right. You know what I mean? 
<laughs> and them man, I don't know what happened to them. Their ego more than their body. <laughs> well, the other their part... ego is more. I no joke. No joke about it. Their ego more than their body. Oh, my goodness. That, that they have too much ego and them. Oh. They come here, go on and me means they just come here, go. Mm-hmm. And then when trouble come, now them put poor little you. Well... No, be, no, no, what them out oh, that they carry on with, and mm-hmm. sometimes they end up blaming me for you. Yep. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. It's true. Part two to this. They end up blaming it on you. Yes. But the for the time we have to find out them past, and then sometimes they try to hide it. Mm-hmm. And that is the worst thing, but we need to find out the past because no, for the time the past we put it on with guidelines, make we know, say, okay, we have to be on our guard. But sometimes they not talk. And don't you Sometimes think that... you have to go to the extreme and find it all for yourself. And big up like FBI. That's right, exactly. <laughs> anytime you anytime you hear say you're FBI, you know there's something wrong. Anytime you talk, oh you go one like your police and your FBI, you know something is wrong right there. <laughs> because if he has but nothing if to hide, if you don't have no, if you don't have no skeleton in your closet, what make you worry to me a be like FBI? Oh, that's right. Real so talk. From the moment you have skeleton in your closet, you have worry when me have behave like FBI. It's true. It's me true. Me talk. have private investigation, and you know, like that. Real talk. Real talk. <laughs> I will make that one him so silent. Me say, can you talk truth? Nag pen, people are too silent. So I will make him silent. So. Yes, man. You try to nag pen. I want to ask quiet tonight. Daddy, who are you? Me that, I chat. I will that. make you so sad. <laughs> <laughs> that Donald, no, don't tell you what me there, man. Oh, Where is that one? Donald, no, don't make you know what I want, Berna. I'm there, I make you feel so I chat. Donald, no much of a business. You don't know what I want, Berna. You're sneaking chat. <laughs> ah, I... No, we are talk. <laughs> but me, 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 I shut my mouth coming now and get you in a no trouble. But me, 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 me. After Tom, Tom, Tom said, well, me, I shut my mouth here now and get you in a no trouble. Oh, right. goodness. Oh, boy. All right, Charmy. Uh, thank you, darling. All right. Go, honey, good, good to hear from you, I tell you, as usual. <laughs> oh, yeah, boy. Me, I want to know what you think about this. A bridge in a mind. I'm sorry, but. A bridge in a mind go up on the commission, Zane. Mm hmm. Go on party. A man want to have a little sister in them and go on party. And when they reach home, he said, Boy, he couldn't wait till they reach home, so he pull over. Mm hmm. Yeah. You know, sometimes the, the he excitement. Did. Yeah. Hey. Pull over and actually on the outside. Them there. I perform. Hey. Vibes is right, everything good. Dancing right. Dancing right, just like the dancers that come from. Mm. On fat leg bite him. <laughs> <laughs> Judgment. No, no. sir. <laughs> wait, wait, where did it bite him? Pan in foot. Oh, okay. Fat leg bite him, pan in foot. Zin. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine. <laughs> he, he, say, lives he, eh? he lives alone? No. Okay. No, no, no. no. He said the man is on a mission. The on a mission. Okay. See? Daddy. Man comes a woman and care of the sister and end up at hospital. See? The <laughs> 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 man get two injections. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> two injections and when he go home. Uh-huh. This should be interesting. Well, no, he wife I tell him, say, boy, he better go back where he might come from go get nursing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Serve him right. Yes. No wicked woman think that. So, wicked which yes. part? Don't, if you ever answer Cassidy tonight. Yo, the woman wicked. If you ever answer that the wrong people question. <laughs> you know what I said? You know what I said before midday, he might get two more injections. Which so is serving him right. Get, right? What sweet you went, so are you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's with him, so I am. Same song. No, yeah, but... I wish this something is stinging pan in Tilly. <laughs> what a wicked thing. We man. have a caller on the nine fa- on the 453. Hello, caller. Welcome to Real yeah. Talk. This is my Viola, a real wife now. Fat leg biting. My primary interest is who care of hospital. 
Awo. Mene mata oya get. Mene mene mata kumotinje kena get. Mene mata efita. That's right. Ukega hospital. Yeah. We start to pick up. Yeah. And where you? Yeah. Oya kumvuka she na call me. Where did they? Achu, <laughs> FBI style. Yeah, man. Okay. It's sweet to your laugh now. We eh? <laughs> <laughs> you know I laugh, you laugh before you call, you know. Mister <laughs> 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 DG, I just wish this up hey. this thing in Panintili. When the bridge is full, when he pull it out. We start to pick you up. How you get? How you call? How you get you before you call me? Yes. Eh. Hey. So what for something? So me in the, the, No, in 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 care of him take bravery and care of the woman, you know. And find himself in hospital, you know. Cold well, the sweat, wife, the wife right for him because the wife knows there's some, something not right. Sweat, everything I wash him. Where you come from, grandma, where you come from, like, when they go nurse yeah, you. I used to watch him, you know. And I said, what about the, the man said, it's an accident. And uh, I want long sitting with me, so I want long sitting with me, you know. The only part of this is the wife here. I want your hand. <laughs> 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 exact that's that would have been me dg i'm not lying the man i tell her oh in crash her oh um the fire truck have it cut him out and he's gonna ask as many as one long time and then he's done everything you have that's right that is the only thing of interest only him and hey if, if she never asked me that she would be a real man a I true a real talk you talk and the most important question, who name Anne? Who name Anne? So That's all that matters to her. After the name, who name Anne, I will put that cover there, so. Yes. And deal with everything else. Yeah. The most important thing, who name Anne? And I want to tell you something. <laughs> when that question answer, <laughs> if it's not pleasing and plausibly enough, remember me tell you, say, yes, more sir, questions to follow up about Anne. Yes. something. Men are such poor liars. Hey, look here, man, you know the liar. Where did come from? I who them man? I tell you, boy. Oh God, we are going to have another program about man and lie. Yo, me say they fool, fool, they fool, fool, they fool, fool. Yo, ask and I tell you one something. Yes. After asking about the same thing, and see if they remember if it did us. <laughs> <laughs> they do get mixed up for real. <laughs> if you ask them to want something twice. Oh, Jesus. You never ask them, ask them like you ask them, you know? Yeah. Sure. But you got sent on the idea. Um, so, so, let me say something that's turned around. I said, oh, mm, oh, so I sent on the idea. Go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, nice program there, you know? Real talk. <laughs> oh, God, Cham called me real. I can't hear you in a Cham, but... Yeah, I'm yeah. <laughs> Cham, Cham <laughs> sounds so strong as usual. No, she, you can't hear her, so she called. She called. Look up where you All right, my darling. Um, let's see what the text line is saying, Cassidy. Let's hear from 483. The wife in us says sharing is caring, a little help is good. Eh? Make the other person help you. Make she help you. As she did I enjoy dancing with, not me. I th I think that maybe she wants to reduce the chances of getting another baby. That's why she would use a condom. Well, to each his own because some people have that view. Some people have a different view based on how they know their partner or what they think about they know about their partner. Call her on the 453. Good night. Welcome to Real Talk. Good night. Yes, sir. How are you? I'm fine. Tell her what big up yourself. Wagwan party from Upper Until. <laughs> there, there, there. Tell us what you think about the Vox Pub tonight. Your spouse uh, all of a sudden want to use a condom. What's your view? Uh, um, it's good for many reasons, not just in you. Scared, get scared or maybe just on second thought and thought. She may be just suspecting. Could be, could be if he's a gentle, I mean, prep partner or diligent partner. It could be that. Mm -hmm. But in addition, you could ask, there are women or men that ask the position that they never used to. What about that? So you can't, you're learning, you're exploring, you're watching TV and you're seeing things. Mm -hmm. oh, so you want oh. to try something? No, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Uh, from the I, from the female's perspective, from the female perspective, mm. okay, it, it couldn't be that they 
Getting the position and wanting to try the different, different position. That's but it for the men. That's it for the men, for, yeah. Not for oral. You're not doing oral. And they suddenly ask for oral and things. So. That's for the men. When the men go out, they go explore and they want it back. They go <laughs> ask you for it, yes. So that's for her gender, Cleo. Yes, for Uno. Now, now you're, 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 Bias. It's true right there. You're for her gender. So hold on now. So, uh, what you see now, when daddy would attack, if him by a start, them, you're not defend, you're not, you're not, look up on daddy would, you know. But oh. no, me say, the man, them try to road and get them combo and that's, come in one more combo. And you tell me, say, me by us. That this is genius. I'm not saying you're by us. You're disingenuous. Disingenuous. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, sir. I hear you. And I, and I could see with DG, DG can ask those questions. Remember, she's a lady of the law. So she's next to an attorney, so she can't do it. But I'm a lady of the law, too. <laughs> yes, but I mean, well, if it, but it must deal with justice with the law. <laughs> oh. I hear you. <laughs> yes, I, I, um, but I'm watching the solution now. I mean, we, we have to take it serious because it's an epidemic. Yes. It, it's getting out this way to a pandemic. So we are still, I mean, educate people as to, I mean, who you can talk to because some people will not care. Yes, some of them don't. And worse, if they go out there and get it, they think that they are just going to just transmit it to everybody else who they can. Yes, they're inoculated. Yeah, they want to inoculate it. Yeah, so that's it, bad. I mean, that's really bad. I mean, I mean the, 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 the health fraternity is trying, but some of the people just disgusting. Mm. But uh, I was wondering if the people, you know, so many of those people have been night protect themselves more than many of the other people out there. Yep. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I, I, Even the, as you said, the people of the night, those who do exotic dancing, yeah. they have to do their regular checks based on the company that that they work with too. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah, they and they and they travel with a condom or they whatever, whatever. They seem to be more conscious of the possibilities than the ordinary average man or woman who goes to sit and watch them perform. They take it lightly and probably think yeah. that oh, for some reason, some strange reason, they think oh, I am not susceptible to HIV. I can't get it because after all this time, I haven't gotten it. Then I can't get it again. They're off that false impression. Naive, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Naive, and it's uh, and it's bad. It's yes, really bad. And that, that, that is what is the problem in our society. That that I mean that some people you expected to be. More genuine and wise. No, yeah, not really. Not really. Um, what would you say? They, they really don't put any due diligence to. I mean, to assert these things. But I mean, it, it's a serious thing and a good program. We bring up is that we need some solution. Uh, but we have to help those who we can help and educate them. But you, you have to be balanced. You know, drop a little bit uh, disingenuous. I am balanced. <laughs> I am balanced. And, and, DG and, already said that there are many women who have multiple partners. And now I'm saying when the men explore and get these great grand positions and they come home and want it, it's because they have already explored and gotten it. Yeah, yeah, okay. And okay. Daddy would, daddy would <laughs> come out, I know that would talk to let the program competitive. And I know that psychological, that's what he does. Does you don't hurt? know anything about Daddy Road. <laughs> I know everything about Daddy Road. No, I had it been agreed. I we agreed, agreed with everything he said. And the, the program wouldn't be competitive. And that's, that's I mean, variety is the spice of life. And that's what that is exactly who he is. When you hear Daddy Road speak, that is who Daddy Road is. <laughs> UL Jackson is a whole different kettle of fish. I told you that oh, already. Bless up yourself, I mean. Bless <laughs> 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 I thought yes, you were yeah. on my side. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Cola. Thanks so much, Mr. Hartill there. Um, I haven't heard him in a little while, too. Um, Kimoy from Sunning Hill is responding to our box pop, well, our ideas earlier. Um, he said, I agree with Donald. Me think so 
say a shell look at sugar daddy too. So earlier when we speak about spoke about the young lady, you know, the, the older lady not having anything and coming his way and looking for a sugar daddy. She start give her the thing, Cleo. That's why she want the man to wrap it up. <laughs> Radio can't talk the raw way. <laughs> so it couldn't be that him. Him a get way. I no, want to protect she. Hold on, let me show you something now. I have, me have sure. a couple of seconds. This is a wrap-up business, yeah? Yes. This is a wrap-up business, yeah? Ask if it, Caller, call. could you call us right back, please, after the break? After the break, yeah. Thank you so much. Yes, Caller yes. on the four, the 454 caller. Please call us back. We are going on a break, all right? Let me show you something. We have, we have, we have to understand this. You see, the wrap-up thing? Yes. It not necessarily means, say, uh, the person, right, have something. Or you have something. Mm -hmm. It not mean that necessarily. Mm hmm it can mean, say, as I said before, the pregnancy part, right? Mm -hmm. But it can also mean, say, you see the vibes, the person just kind of want to You have the psychology to say. What kind of vibes? You know? Vibes better in it than out of it? No. You have what to are you saying? The uh -uh. individual ready for cut. So he must send a message or she has sent a message. What a piece of boy like that. You know what is yeah. true? It's no 11.30, you know. <laughs> no, what's it's called, we may think about it, you know. Oh, if you want to come cut, you have a tempo and start use condom. Yeah, because it's all my things playing in your head. Cal Cal reverse Look psychology. Go along about your business if you want to go about your business. No, cut no condom. They're not that the thing, you my girl. my vibes. They're not that the thing. The vibes were dead. <laughs> <laughs> right? Sometimes, hey, you have no road, no, my I know, girl. No, no, I know. No, 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 don't get me wrong. Right. I know that that's a possibility too. All right. We really start, want cut. So, yeah, so he start, wants to probably give give an signal. Arg yeah. Give signal. Me signal right. arg argument will start up now because she will start thinking all kind of things and he yeah. wants her to think all kind yeah. of things. Yeah, I know those psychologists. Of course. I know them. Yeah, but man, don't be that. surprised, men, when the women play them back on Uno. <laughs> Dad, it's now 11 30. Time is brought us by Can't BJ Printing tongue. Services and, and Real Talk is sponsored by, by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. <laughs> it's so, so cool. Far. <laughs> Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ DJ Printing at 893-2266. life and tired of just getting by do you want to take your life to the next level learn the secrets of the super successful listen to power in a half hour with coach mark this and every wednesday night on styles fm from 9 to 10 p.m learn the habits of the super successful and how to make these habits work for you learn to turn your dreams and desires into reality you can win in the game of life let coach mark show you how every wednesday night on styles fm from 9 to 10 p.m Planning a party, club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low-priced promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Holy golly! <laughs> your Saturdays will never be the same again! 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Styles FM! Get the showdown! Social commentary! Tune no, one tune! No, no, no. No. The Edge, you're love with a love song. Oh, happening. Between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. on the People Station, Styles FM. 96.1, 96.5, 96.7. Only the smooth sailing with Colin Anthony. Shotgun to the fame. One of the things I've been done. 
Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Well, if me have my partner and he suddenly come say, he want to use condom, me no say, he ma cheat. And by right, for the first thing, when these men nowadays and who there is, me go want to use condom anywhere because you cannot trust these men. It's very hard if you find a liar. You have so many women that are loyal, but the men, them no loyal. And me, I discuss past relationship to see who the other the ex was and the lifestyle with the ex when they live because sometimes yes when you have your, you and your partner be together and what um the past life can be very very dangerous so you need to know about it you can't just say okay your name start no one you're gonna take it um to this level no you can't you gotta find out the past life and the past relationship them because no for them people here these days they no value their life they run from here so run this so and it's when things crap up that's when the inside we start slow down when nothing can be done to it again because everything has gone wrong and gone the wrong way so you have to take regards to yourself and your life and find out the lifestyle of your partner and make your standard to who you want it because looking in a face these days that can't help you and trusting people these days can't help you you have to protect yourself real talk if your partner suddenly start asking for the use of a, of a condom, which he never normally does. Either he don't trust you, or he know what he's doing on the outside. So, he don't really want to bring anything, come and give you. Maybe on medication or whatever. And he's still in the mood, so therefore he want to protect you until he clear up himself. Well, if you come home one day, with, um, it, if you have some kind of STD, and you definitely know say on your game. You know yes, you're on the safe side because of him alone. Well, in fact, yes, he's been sleeping around with somebody. And um, about his past, his sex life, if we go together now, knowing you did, an, um, did a test and the both of you were all right, and you hear about the next that has some kind of STD. It shouldn't be a problem because um, at least going together, you know, you were both clean. So I guess sometimes the past should just stay in the past. In clean now, so move on with that clean, clean slate. Yes. Oh, Lord, don't tell me I hang up on the person. Did I do that? Call right back, please. Uh, five, five, something, something. Yes. Um... Go back to the Vox Pop on screen, please. Thank you. Um, what's sweet? The, the, second, part, you. the yeah. second part says your partner gets usually gets routine checkups, mm -hmm. but they come they come to you know one day and say, "Hey, I have an STI. I contracted right. something, something, something syphilis. You know, gonorrhea." HIV. Yeah, all, right, all right. Let me show you something. What now. would you be thinking your partner yeah, is thinking? thinking. And what would thing, be your approach? The first thing for me, I'll be thinking that the person is saying, say, I'm making them. Yes. Right? Now, uh, yeah, the only part about it is that if they have been doing routine checks and you have not been doing routine checks, then right away you can probably start to question yourself. However, the person could also be doing routine checks, 
mm-hmm. because them know say they are they are going elsewhere with other right. with, with, with someone so they else. They want to ensure that they are good. Ensure that they're good. Right. So now them catch something. Right. Them could not them could not just come to you and I tell you say boy I know say boy I may pick up tack. <laughs> but maybe you never even a pre right away figure say boy where you get it from because you know say them do them check up and you expect say them do them check up it's supposed to come out clean at all times mm-hmm. so you must question yourself worse if you all know say boy you're guilty but at the same time too, you know say boy you're guilty but you're clean <laughs> let's take this call up good night call on the 453 long time coming thanks for calling back good night my love how are you how are you my dear i'm not bad welcome to I'm real talk sweet. I'm sweet and, and I'm enjoying your program and the topic. I just want to add a little bit to my listening. Sure. And to what you personally had said about the men that go out and get their job done and then they take it back home. Mm-hmm. So what if when they went home, they had a partner that have no interest in what they take home? Mm-hmm. What the hell no? Uh, well it it does happen sometimes because first up you find that the average woman their antenna goes up and she's like wait he never did this to me before he never wanted this before so why all of a sudden now he wants this right right i'm gonna tell you that is something that is personal it happens to me yes oh yes eh? sir it happens to me so you went out there and wanted something new Get something new. Eh? Hey. Yeah. Now, that me at all. And you come back, you know, and present it to her, and she said no. Uh, uh, that is a no. <laughs> eh? Hey. So, so, so that let the whole life push out my back now. Oh, jeez, um. <laughs> and, you, because, and because men can't really like so good, they get catch. You, you become no innocent one again. Oh, my. <laughs> so did you confess? So, None at all. Well, yeah, have to just... Sing slow, easy. Oh. Boy, 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 I don't walk away from. I <laughs> <laughs> really can't tell lies, so good. Don't, don't think about it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. You got some sauce for that one, I'm sure. Oh, uh, love, I tell you, I, I, am, I, I should say this before I even say that. Yes. Give thanks to Power 106. And the programs that you people put together. Stars FM, actually, yes. Yeah, it's a beauty. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you, yeah, sir. It, it, not, not 106, 96. 96, stars, not, yes. Not, one, not, one, not 106, I don't know, listen, at nine, I just have 106, especially in the mornings. Yes, but this is stars yeah. FM, 96.1, yes. Yeah, yeah that, that, is why I miss, that is why I miss the six. Yes. <laughs> right. But I tell you, I love listening to this station. I love that. The programs that you people put together is a beauty to want to just enjoy listening. We, we are humbled, sir. Thank you. Give thanks. Yes. And I hope many others out there are listening. Yes. And just, sometimes people just listen only like to one program. And then they switch for whatever reason. And, and, and maybe what you people have to offer is more important than what they are listening to. I tell you, boy, in many instances. Right. You know, so I just, I just love it. Your program is a beauty. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah, it's a beauty. I love, I love to listen to it. Bless you, sir. And we keep doing it better and better for people like you. Give okay, thanks. my sweet. Give thanks. All right, bless you. And you have a good night and... Keep sweet. You too, sir. Okay, my darling. All right, thank you. Thank you, my sweet. A very nice listener there, yes. True, true. All true. right. So, we are looking at part two to our Vox Pop. Yeah. And if it is that routine checkups, and routine is, yeah, routine can be relative, you know, because yeah. if it's every three months, that's good. And not that you've given me thoughts in my head, I yeah. wonder why. Why I keep on I do this work? Check, 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 check. What's up? Where, where what? <laughs> Movie stars? <laughs> so, so routine checkup and just come on in them contract something. If I am going to the doctor with you and we are good all the time. Why you have to go with me? I'm a big man. If you go, 
you know, so the average man wants to go with his girl when a check will get checked up. The you know, average where man. You, where well, y'all tell me, say? Well, well, maybe above or below average. We no business. Okay, so I go to the doctor. But normally, spouses, I would want to think they would go together, no? No. No, the man, we know the man cheat and a good carry on. No, no one go check up with no girl. Because like he's afraid to hear anything because if, with her. Because if he goes by himself and the man say, boy, something dead, you know what I'm going to do? Go once and go get your medication. No, sir. My and girl, start out him a thing privately. The doctor is a is a is a private. Yeah, 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 know, yeah. Not yeah, like yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Real talk. Yeah. Hello, darling. Want to get to my bed? I'm feel like ten when I go to my bed tonight. Me just have dreams. I'm just like daddy would come. Some good lick. <laughs> I know, right? Here, Tommy, me a sleep in tonight. I'm clear. Yes. The reality of it. Even I'm not not hide. Why me and you can't go get the check? That more I know too. <laughs> The fuck you can't get the check up with me. That one want to do. <laughs> we are doing everything together, you know. We are going unprotected together as man and woman. Why all of a sudden, no, we must do check up and you can't carry me. No, no, me not, can't me not, be. Me not get it. Can't the be. The fuck you can't do check up with me. Right away, right away. Red flag. Red flag up. Yes, man, no. real talk. Hold on. Hold on, Pamwa. Hold on. Let me ask you. Hold on, Pamwa. You know, I'm like, you know, remind me, I'm coming back to the money and flip a button. I will. A bomb. Look here. Oh, DG. Let me ask you something. Cassidy, big man thing. If you ever answer Cassidy. Yes. You don't want to go to the doctor. Right? With your girlfriend, uh, Cassidy. Well, 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 with your girlfriend. With your wife. Well, 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 to a gynecologist. See? <laughs> and when the man examine. You want it when the man examine? You don't have to see that part. No, man. What you say together? Yeah, so you're, you're sitting down until she's featured behind the screen. With the gyno, gynecologist. With the gyno. You're mad. Listen. And then no, all I'm going to so, well, so, It's, it's well, better well, you're well, there than not which, there when well, he's well, doing well, what he's doing to her, no? There, well, know, which man out there doing prostate I want the woman there? Bro. Yes. No. Yes. No. She should be there when the doctor is inserting no. to check you out. No. To hold your hand. Oh, God, I'm traumatized. <laughs> 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 oh, DJ. I guess he didn't know that he has the right to remain silent. He has the right. I just told him, you know. I just right. told him. You know, DJ. <laughs> DG, I have an offer for you. Yes. You and I need to meet privately. Yes. And you give me one of those coughs. Yes. So that when it is that Cassidy decides to jump on this one's yes, 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 um, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. You think Cassidy's phone? <laughs> Cassidy knows all of who come in here and who he has to work with. So he makes sure he sits there and he's quiet. Very. Very. <laughs> I want to tell her something, sir. The other night, me did have a program and somebody come to the studio with me. And in the other day, there is an engineer. So I cut leave out now, Wednesday night, me have to pay the radio and I even come out and I say, I even that's not going to say I lie. <laughs> yes, you have to wonder. Yeah, I'm going to tell you. But, but, but I, all the time, I realize eh, that rule that I draw out Cassidy and I'm something. True. Cassidy name alone. True. <laughs> and because Cassidy no no say clear, we'll give it to him, you know. He just like shaking head and a smile. Okay. Many times he didn't say a word. I co- look at that um <laughs> Daddy Road is the only person that domestic violence is permitted on. True. You hear that? <laughs> I, <was fine>. <laughs> <laughs> I have back it in, very strong back it in. <laughs> Boy, for me. <laughs> oh Listen, boy. I don't see the sense. <laughs> I don't see the sense of it. Um, if 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 you want me to accompany you, but what 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 where may I go in there for? Unless uh, unless unless I want them like say so, you know when, when when a woman need that kind of um support. No, but why do we right? go do things otherwise together? No, but well, man, listen. If, if, if I something where fair fair argument say you try fi 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 reproduce, fi get a youth, right? The two of can go to the doctor if you ask certain questions together. Yes. And if but, it is that you're going to do your prostate test, <laughs> I don't have to see what he's doing to you, but I can no, be right there to, no, to offer some moral no, support. Well, so well, well, no, I'm but, talking well, no, to no, no, you well, 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 from behind the screen. Well, 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 Ain't nothing no. wrong with that. The urine test is first. I've seen your buttocks before. No? 
So why I can't see your buttocks now that you're in the in doctor's office? Look here. People, I think they ask me about that. I, I, I mean, no, 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 Let me clarify Brr. that. If it is that we're together, I, you would have seen your partner's buttocks before. Or front tucks. Yeah? So if it is that we, you want to see the doctor, I should be able to go with you. I have seen you naked. What you hiding? Nothing to hide. Except what you want to hide. A man fool yeah, honey, I, uh, let me tell you, I'm not answering my wife's phone, you know. My, my wife deserves her privacy. I lie out there, me not a privacy, answer my phone. Come here, answer for you when you ring. So the fact is, <laughs> <laughs> you know what, uh, listen, when a man said, no man, you deserve her privacy, go on to the doctor by yourself, come, you come, me, I go in there with me, come here with That's me. That's right. Me, I go here with everything about you. Exactly. Them smart, is it? They try to be smart. I mean, I mean, look here, I, like seriously, like women are from Venus and men are really from Mars. No. True. So, up, so, up, so. I don't really know how to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> and we know that you must be hiding something why you don't want to come in there with us. Why you don't want to come in there with us? Yeah, why? I'm interested in that. You need look to here. know what the doctor is doing to your wife. Look here. You need to know no, what he's saying no, to your wife no, no, as it relates no, to her, no, no. her, her status where, where, where no. her if health it, is concerned. If it, if, if it reached that point, right, where in say, if, if for argument's sake, there's a possible terminal and uh, terminal illness, you know, it's <laughs> no. a, a, a kind of support. But it's outside a, of terminal but, illness. But you to do a general checkup. Come on, man. But that doesn't make no sense. Routine checkup. No, if no, she that goes that with sense. you and you what, offer what, to go in with her and she said no, what would you think? Me, but when me what have, would you think? But me not offer to go in there. I won't. I me not offer to go in there. A doctor in name. You no, see me? I me agree an to an extent. I've me gone to the doctor and right? I've gone alone. Yeah. Well, I've gone with, but then gone in alone. Yeah. And I've also gone and gone with. But what was the cause at that time? So does it, does it really matter? All so, right. So as I must something where would that generally affect what person? Uh, not necessarily. Yeah. Caller on the 453. Welcome to Real Talk. Yeah. I'm fully in agreement with Danny Root. I know you would be, sir. No, you don't know who I would be. <laughs> I know you would be. If it's you calling Artil, I know you would be. No, yes. It is, it is not necessary just for your side. It, it, it can be, but it's not necessary. Hold on. M side. Make up your mind. You're confusing me. It can be, but it's not necessarily so. I, I don't understand. No, because it's the if. If you ask the city to know the blood test, can you can't go to a lab and do a blood test, and the blood test will tell you everything. You don't need so to you, go in there. RT. So, right. So you, you, you wouldn't want to suppose you have to go to work, and that day you have to RTL. go in there. You know, RT. There's uh -huh. something there's something called compromise and stuff. If it is that I'm going to the doctor to do my checkup, and I want my spouse to be there with me, and it so happens that he decides to also do a checkup on that day. What is wrong with me saying, <laughs> you well, or Hartill, come with me. I want the doctor to hear, I want you to hear what the doctor is saying to me so we can discuss whatever together. Why you have an eye Hartill, why me you're can't come in there with you? You're eh? talking about an HIV or uh, uh, STD. I could have MVP. It no matter which one. <laughs> Look here. No. Now, all you place emphasis that you must have to be there. Every, everybody. I did not say you them. must have to be there. I am saying what is wrong with being there? No, if we are doing an HIV. So you're saying if you're HIV positive, you would prefer for me not to know? No, 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 no. So I, if the I test. Not said HIV. Come on, man. Put it up, put it up at STD now, right? Any sexual. Syphilis. And, and your partner, what? Gonorrhea. What the other one name? Crab. <laughs> Whatever. For call it up. Sean. Yeah, what I'm right? saying to you is, um, Artil, if you have a spouse that you're close to, you're, in, you're intimate with this lady, and yeah. you decide to go do your checkup together, you always go and do your routine checkups. Yeah. What is wrong with the partner going with you? Where you, at, where you have a hide? Where you are worried about? <laughs> hey, look here. I am not saying anything is wrong. And I'm saying whether you are... Yeah, um, why is you move? Why is you going around having different, different sex, whatever, or meeting with a partner? Whether I live with or live with somebody, you should get your checkup. 
So, wrong or right? I am not, you're not wrong. But why me can't go with you, I won't go with you. I'm a want you go with me. What wrong with that? It you're too, you're intrusive. Yeah, you can't accompany the person. But for I, I have a checkup for a STD, it's not necessarily that you must have to go with the person. You have something to hide. <laughs> you have something to hide, Artil. You are hide so the girl next door give you a gun area. You hide it. So what do you want to hide? I feel man said the man up to go with it. The average woman will not say the man can't go with her. The average woman will say, honey, come with me. She wants to feel the man supporting her. That's called moral support. And when you go up there, I suppose the doctor and the, and the person, a friend, the woman, a friend, or the man, a friend, and the doctor, I want to tell you where to go. With the part, you know, so it can happen so too. Of I want course. to tell you what happened to your partner. Or whatever. Well, if that's the, the case, if that you is the case... You don't get the, tricked. If that is the case, Artil, then the partner can excuse themselves, or if the person can say, Doctor, is my husband, is my wife, make him stay, make him hear. We want to hear. The doctor word is fine. I said, them are friends, then trick you. Can trick you. So that's why I'm saying it's not necessary. The doctor and the husband are friends, or the wife are friends. And if you watch social media, you see that plenty. <laughs> plenty of that. Huh? See your imagination trick. too vivid. The, the, doctor, the doctor trick. Trick the man and send him out and tell him to go get medication while he's dealing with the wife. And he, and he go vice versa. Deal with her how? Uh, it, well, not for real, doctor. Oh. Um, no. <laughs> but, uh, but, but, it, but, but these things don't happen. I'm not, it's not compulsory. Okay, it's not sir. Happen, but it's not compulsory. All right, sir. I hear you. I fully agree with that, Daddy Root. I go. hear you, sir. Okay, then you. take care. All right, my dear. Let me show you something. Oh, to you. boy. Everybody, every single sanitary smuddy, go into the doctor's office and talk some things to the doctor where they not talk about. With their partner. Exactly. Everybody. That's the, now, you're, now you're hitting the nail on the head. Right? You're no. getting to the, uh, the well, all I, the thought. We have a caller on the 453. <laughs> Serve you right, you bugger you. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead, caller. Daddy Road. Daddy Road. You. I agree with Clear in man. Thank you. Thank you, Donald. Clear for the last one time. I agree with you. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, man. You become one. Thank you. And when you become one, everything where, where one know the other must know. Exactly worse when it comes to your health. Because the health affects the two on, people. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> Come on, I did. Yeah, yeah, we are doctor together, man. Yes, man. I'm here in the examination room with That's you. That's right. Yes, man. I'm here hear all the results. I'm going to know where you're going. Yes, I like Mr. Mr. Artil said, you can't trick me. <laughs> yeah, you call me dead. Me I know. <laughs> me call, you call me Mr. Nosey. <laughs> Look here, Donald. <laughs> DG has a skin about 10 public for you. About 20. But let me tell you, to what I'm going to do, I'm going to talk. But hear me. Hear me. Daddy Road, yeah. you're lost. All right, sir. Oh, my goodness. Lord Jesus, yeah, thank that, you. That thank you, that Donald. Yeah, Thanks for sharing tonight in the show. We're coming up to the end of the show, guys. Let's see what the messages are saying here. Um, Cassidy, who's on the what's, who's on the Facebook Live connection, too? Let's look at 438 in the meantime. Any day, wife is saying, if I put on a condom to sex her, she have to say, why? Because her skin to skin, me say. It's all about life in living colors. <laughs> <laughs> what if she says, I don't want to get pregnant? Would you believe her? Like how the daddy would want me to believe that, oh, he wants no more kids? Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 Let's see who else is there. Um, go on down the line, go on down the line. DG said, really enjoyed the program. Oh, enjoyed you having you too, DG. Kemoy says, she start, give her the thing, Cleo. That's why she want the man to wrap it up. Are you? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Not really so. Mm-mm. Why, me can't, me can't, me <laughs> What's can't. on the text line there? Me, me can't endorse it, none at all. Um, there, there are multiple reasons, though. You know, we shouldn't just stick to um. Everybody one got a doctor got to talk one thing to the doctor what they don't really want to talk about, right, um, with, with, um, with them partner. 
if there are, if, if there are certain things where a town can go together, there are certain things where you know, you just go and go your business. If you want, if you want me to go there with you, fine. But I don't need for you to impose yourself upon upon to my privacy. Mm -hmm. No man, me I tell, hear you. Me tell you where you go. I hear you. Let's go. Let's go down the line. We saw something from the boy. Let's go back to what the boy was saying there. Um, he made mention of something about the young lady that we spoke about earlier. Um, he could, well, he couldn't hear us. He says, okay. Um, Monica's birthday today too. Okay. Wow. It was her. It's her birthday. Well, yes, yeah, still her birthday. In another couple, two minutes or so, it would have been the other day. So I hope she had a very good day today, and we look forward to the support. The account number. Let's see what that is saying, Cassidy. To donate to the little girl, Monica is the name who fell and had a. Um, what's the pinch nerve issue? Yes. Um, she's having a cookout, which, as we gave you the info earlier, for those who might just be, well, might not have heard the first um, um, a story about that. Just letting you know that there is a young lady, Monica, from H Hartford or H Hartford um, area of Fear Prospect, the stop side of the school. She needs to do some surgery or some, some different tests. Spinal, she had a spinal injury in recent times. December 28th is the day when they want you to come and enjoy the cookout that they're having. And it's a part of our birthday celebration as well. Um, I'm sure she's in good spirit, but if you can do anything at all to assist her, um, we are looking forward to hear you helping to raise the funds. Go on down, Cassidy. Um, I, I'm going to do everything in my powers to get to this event to support this young lady because she does need to do surgery. Now, there's a message down below. December 28th, it's a survival story. Mommy and the family are trying really hard to come up with the funding to, to help her to do her surgery. All right? This is the account number. Um, one five eight zero six two two zero five five. That's one five eight zero six two two zero five five. Her name is Sophia West. That's the name of the account. Credit Union. And I guess that's the Portland Cooperative Credit Union. All right, and they're saying thanks for your donation to this little girl. To help to do her surgery right here in portland so wherever you are tell somebody to tell somebody else about this very very important cause this christmas if you can help even one person then you are going to be highly blessed i'm sure and of course it feels great to help somebody who is in need so again the account number at the credit union i believe the portland cooperative credit union one five eight zero six two two zero five five sophia west is the name or you can make mention of the fact that you want to donate to the little girl monica who had a, a fall and as a result got a spinal injury and has several several tests to do to ensure that she could probably walk again all right so um, have this young future and before we go i want to invite persons to sponsor real talk mm -hmm. Um, we have created some very inexpensive um, packages, packages that you can sponsor. It can start even as low as $4,000 per month, mm -hmm. right? Um, for your business, small business, that is, young entrepreneurs, micro businesses, right? You can and sponsor and this and any program Graham. on Styles of Him. And right? you, for you can as even. Low as four thousand per month. And you could also and do part part sponsorship if it's for an award show or right. the entire so, but, but, show. But it starts at right. That's that's where we're starting at um as mm -hmm. low as four grand per month. And that is unprecedented. Nowhere else. Yeah. You can find that. So um link us up um four eight seven six four three nine five one six zero eight seven six four three nine five one six zero or eight seven six five one eight two three nine nine eight seven six five one eight two three nine nine right Spon and sponsor the program a lot of we have a lot of listeners um business people out there no matter how small your business is locally right? and internationally we have created packages um for you and as usual conditions apply so 
just link me up and then we can discuss it you can also email us at stylesinbox at gmail.com very easy s-c-y-l-z inbox at gmail.com and inquire about our program sponsorship packages right and remember conditions apply so link us up and we'll explain it all to you right and sponsor real talk you know our evil listeners who want to donate you don't you don't have a business you can also donate to the show right? real talk and what better way to get your business to bloom 